Like testing, but shitting. Like, t- <laughs> just say testing. Shitting, one, two, three. No, that's weird. Shitting. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. Hey, welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Chris D'Elia. And where's Brian Callen? I actually have no fucking idea, because he's always late. So we decided to start the podcast without him. Yeah. Uh, because every, you know, we say, oh yeah, let's do it at 2.30, and then he says, okay, and then at like 1 p.m., I'll say like, actually 3.10, guys, which is a bullshit <laughs> time to start. That's not, that's not actually a time who for anything. Starts some, who starts something at 3.10? Yeah. But you know, this is also a good opportunity for us to do our first phoner. And do like a, an interview since Brian's not here. It's sort of just you and me, right? And we can like call someone. Okay. So I think we should call Brian. Why don't we call Brian? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can hold you, on. Here we go. Oh, so you can put it near the thing. Okay. Yeah. He. I'll be amazed by the way if he picks up. Because of how shitty he is. Is it ringing? Oh, here he is. He he actually came right now. Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, Brian. Answer your phone. Answer your phone, dude. Yeah. Hey, Brian. How's it going? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? <laughs> okay. You're, here, take you're this here. mic. So you came late. So we started. Before, we started. Yes, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. No, no, well, no. well, we already started. Okay. So you know what? Sit here, down. Bring that over here. You go to the bathroom, and we can call you. We'll, we'll keep you on the phone. Right. Go are use. Go the use phone? the bathroom upstairs. Take your fucking stupid blazer off. He wears a blazer in the daytime. Like your Bru- like your Bruce Wayne. What? You're not Bruce Wayne. Well. Okay, you don't know what I do in my spare time. You, I actually do know what you do in your spare time, and it's fucking... It actually is a lot like Bruce Wayne, what he does in his spare time, because in Bruce Wayne's spare time, he doesn't do shit because he's a rich billionaire. <laughs> you're, yeah, well, I make a lot of money, so... No, you're like a rich billionaire, only you don't... You do exactly what a rich billionaire oh, does. Oh, oh, God. Are you shitting? <laughs> Jesus. So, Brian, yeah. how's your career going? My career is... Um, I mean, I, you know, it's really, really, really going well. I, I couldn't be happier. Like, are you um, are you late for everything? Like, like meetings and auditions yeah. and gigs? I know, I know that that's a dig at the fact that I'm late today, but I told you guys that I would be late. Yeah, but you also said like 3.10, which is not a time. Right. That's not well, an actual... Well, it's 3.20, so I'm 10 minutes late. Oh, okay, so you agree then. You are late. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit late. I apologize. Well, what I missed. And if you count, you know, telling us at 1 p.m. that you were going to be here at 3.10 instead of, 2, instead of 2.30, then technically you're, you're, technically you're 50 minutes late. You, can, and you, I, you know what? You're being condescending, so I'm not going to talk to me with a condescending tone. You know, you also could have just said, I'll be there at 3.30, which is a time that everyone, every human being understands. That's a real time. It, you in, may as well have said, like, 3.12. In, in which case, yeah, if you said 3.30, you'd be 10 minutes early. But you couldn't do that, could you? Because y- 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 yeah, you got to be I late. Yeah, I because I wanted to. I figured 40 minutes is better than an hour. Right, right, hey, right. But, Brian. But you, you still but you still showed up at 10 minutes late, so. Yeah, don't say you still. I know what you're doing. Brian, <laughs> would you have been, like, if you weren't late, would you have been more in more of the hangover? That's a good point. You know what, guys? That, I had a very pivotal role in the hangover, and I worked really hard on that character, and it took a lot of courage. Do you think that if you weren't late, you wouldn't be on In Plain Sight. You might be on network television. Uh, I choose to do pivotal but small roles because my schedule is busy, so I do a lot of different roles. So if I do a big role, then obviously I don't have time to do the other role. I love that there's a bit of a delay here on the mic. If our listeners can hear, Brian's actually hollering in the other room. He is in the bathroom right now, and there's a bit of a delay as if he's in, in Iraq. Taking a shit. Do you think that there's a delay because of the cell phone service or because Brian's always late to everything? I think that, yeah, I think that. I think God. if you were to go up, if you were to go up there and do that, it would, there wouldn't be a delay. No, there wouldn't be a delay. But the powers that be in the universe and, and the oneness the, the, are, are God above. Right. Literally, God is putting Brian on a two second delay. Oh, here he is. Oh, hey, he is. what's hey, up? How'd it go? Brian, dude? pull this mic up. Yeah, here you go. So sit down, man. So, it's, it's, so we're so glad to have you, dude. Did you do a bunch of cocaine or what? What the fuck are you sniffing for? What's up with for? your thing? No, 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 just ah, I feel fucking good. It's so good to be, so good to be here. Brian, yes. what were you doing? What in the were bathroom? you doing in the bathroom? Nothing, you gonna... man. I had to go to the bathroom. So, uh, woo! I'm fucking bombed. 
fucked, man. Whoa, what are we doing? Whoa. Let's lay this shit down. You sound like Paul Stanley about to open a show for kids oh, or something. Fucking, how much do you love? Why don't they get back together? I wish that band would get back together. They're, man. They are back together. Detroit no one... Rock City. Oh my God, fucking Brian, what's up? That doesn't sound your, your like good. Are you really cool? red? Pump, pump. And why are you? Don't beat your chest. Uh, uh, just feeling fucking good, But, man. Brian, let me ask you a question. Why, why did you go to the bathroom fully Woo! clothed and you came back with just a wife beater on? <sighs> fucking, I just feel like, sometimes you ever feel like you're just on fucking fire? I'm on fucking fire, man. Uh, I feel like I can fly. <laughs> yeah, you sound like Paul Stanley. You're like, hey, everybody, oh, who's okay. ready for some cold gin? It's time yeah. to go to Detroit Rock City, everybody. I can't believe you brought up Paul Stanley. He's my fucking fire. Oh, I don't even know who he is because I'm way younger than oh you guys. God, Brian, but... Brian, your nose is bleeding. Yeah. Is it bleeding? Oh here, 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 take you know this. Don't, don't, use, your don't use your shirt. Don't use your shirt. Don't use your shirt. No, don't use your shirt. Oh, it's a nice uh, shirt. I know. John Barbera. <laughs> well, no. It's... On that. it's like a $300, $600. I need to borrow some out with money. Are we, don't, oh, are we, re- we recording? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're recording. recording. You have oh, a yeah. headset on and everything. Oh, yeah. Dummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, tell us what's... Look, look, look. Let's cut the shit. What's yeah. going on in your life? You're nah. late. We had to interview you over the phone. The I'm podcast sorry. is only 10 minutes. You're yeah. exactly 10 minutes late, and now you're, you're acting like you're freaking out. What? I know, man. I'm sorry about that. Why were you so late? Um, what are you doing with your mouth? No, my fucking gums are all... What? What do you mean? Numb or something. Well, I okay. Some nuts. Ah, you got more you blood. You ate some nuts? You got more blood. Oh, fuck, I keep bleeding. What's with this dry weather? Dude, it's not. Out. It's not even really particularly uh, dry I today. I don't. Vera. <laughs> fucking Vegas is dry, bro. You were in Vegas. You were in Vegas. I, oh yeah, I kept thinking I was in Vegas still. <laughs> you told us you were drove in. No, I. Drove. You told us you were doing a gig in Ohio, and I that's know. why I took. That's I why know. you were late. But you said you were late because you were coming back from the airport in Ohio. So you were. Yeah, you. You said you were doing three nights, six I shows know. at Laffy Pete's. In I Dayton. had to stop at Vegas for like like a quick thing, and then I came back. Oh, here, what so. did you? Oh, for, for a show or what? Yeah. Oh, oh what'd you do? Did you do? Uh, you perform in Vegas? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Where, where right? did you perform? At the. Uh, Palm uh, Parlor Parlor there. Palm, the, the what? Palm Which parlor? parlor? Yep, the Palm Parlor there. So have you done that place? That is a fucking killer run. Well, I don't do stand up. No, so. but I you don't. You should do stand up. I don't want to do stand up. You should do stand up. I don't want to do stand up. But you should do stand up. Okay. No, oh, tell him. No, I, well, tell him. I mean, he should do it if he wants to do it. I don't, You're scared of the issue. Detroit Rock Okay, hold on, no, Brian. Stop Brian. fucking saying that. Huh. When did you, when, so you played the parlor? I, yeah. I've never heard do of this place. Has it? Do I still got? No, it's kind of dry enough. Up a little bit. Yeah, what's up? So I had to stop in Vegas, pick up a thing, and then I had to, and then I came back here. You so picked it's up good a to thing? Be back. Yeah, I had a pa- like a. So you did a gig. Uh huh. Yeah. And and but it was to do the gig or pick up something. What did yeah, you? Yeah, let me let me. I gotta go to the bathroom. Let me be right no, back. No, I'm bro, come right no, that's back cool. The, we'll call him. All right. Are you? Oh. Do you need to use the bath? We'll call you. Who do you need? What do you need to do no, in the bathroom? No, I, was, I had to go to the bathroom again. Do you eat cool. Can you just hang out for a couple minutes? Yeah, I will. Let me just check my messages. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Can't Who's we calling just, you? No, my agent was going to get back to me about the fucking. I'm supposed to do Vegas. By agent? Do Wait, you you're, mean, hold on one second. Uh, your you, your agent is going to get back to you about <laughs> Vegas. You were just in Vegas. Yeah, Brian. By agent, do you mean drug dealer? Uh, I have a problem. Oh Wait, my what? god! <laughs> oh my god, Brian! Don't cry. <laughs> Brian, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just Brian, I'm look, a don't hard look. Time. Sometimes look. you feel like the horse is riding you, and you're not riding the horse. You, you can't fall I mean? into this sure. trap. Not in a town like this. You need to know, know who you are at all times in Ow. Los Angeles. The thing is, let me explain. This guy clean. It's clean coke, bro. No. Yeah, okay, fine, but it's, it's still clean. coke. It, it doesn't mean it's good for you. It's I, not good for you. I know. Yeah, but you sound like an addict. He's okay, saying, so you're I'm saying I'm not. It's just that. But listen, you're making is, you're making excuses. You're saying, oh, it's clean coke. It doesn't matter if it's clean it coke. Is, it's still really poisonous know, for your body. I know, and I shouldn't be fucking. I'm I'm straight, and he ends up making me do all this weird. Whoa, shit. Whoa, wait a minute. I what? Know. What kind of stuff? What are you I talking about? Nothing. No, no, no. Hold on. What are you talking about? He's got st- these big fucking hands. He's aggressive. And so who is this guy? He's this guy. He's fucking. I don't even know where he's from. He's from the Sudan or something. He's oh my dark. god. I know. He's and so you meet him. And you meet him in. In he's Las Vegas, nice, he's a nice guy. He's a fucking nice guy. Well, they're nice all guy. nice guys until yeah. until he starts putting I those know. big brown hands up in I your know. inside of your body. Well, don't say that. Don't say. Well, that's like what's that. gonna but happen. Did he, to you. did he? Did he do that? What did he do? He, he dresses me up and then he makes me fucking clean. I do chores. He calls me his Dutch boy. And then I I end up cleaning. And then the next thing I know, I'm all fucking dizzy. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is that why there's like a dead cat rolled up in your blazer? <sighs> 
Does oh, it have to do with the fucking a, patches? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Ten Minute Podcast, and thanks for downloading and subscribing on iTunes, and uh, we're on Stitcher Smart Radio. And, Why'd you and, bring a dead cat? And check us out at, at Ten Min Pod on Twitter. And Brian, you, you need we need, I to need clean help you or something. Need help. I'm sorry, somebody. Hey, I got my black belt uh, in, in uh, karate. You got a black belt uh, at J. Crew is what you mean on, to say. Man, Fucking gotcha, bro. No, gotcha. You're not, not getting me. Some podcasts are so bring a and tree. you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. All right, welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. I'm Brian Callen. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And uh, Will Sasso could not make it uh, today. In fact, he's at SeaWorld. Yep. Um, I think he's a huge Shamu fan. He wanted said to he wanted that. to go look at all the anim- animals is what he said. Yeah, he, wanted, he loves killer whales. He does. He's a moron. I never miss him when he's not on the podcast. No, but he's not here. So let's introduce our guest that we have filling up for our Back to Popular back, Demand, back right? Back by Popular Demand, or I should say Black by Popular Demand. Shauna is hey, in the house. Hey, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was just why, saying. Why, why would you? Hey, y'all, what's up? Shauna back in the house, raising the roof, y'all. Brian, that's racist. I was being. I that's was mess- racist. I was a little that's racist. racist. I'm messing that's around. Racist. Okay. That's a, 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 a oh. racist. Okay. That's oh, a new, okay. That's well, a new one. That's a new one. I she thought got, you got hey, kind of crazy right there. I'm so happy to be back with y'all. Y'all I'm like my baby brothers. I've come up in comedy with y'all. I've known y'all since I was doing. Co- I started nope. out in 1986. Yeah. Yep. And Catch a Rising Star. No, we know that. With yep. Bill Maher and Dennis Leary. Right. And how, how old are you, now, let me. I don't. I ain't never. You. This motherfucker always trying to find I out know, my fucking he age. Is. He, he is. was one time he grabbed me by my titty. He was like real drunk. And he's like, Sean, how old are you? Let me count the rings on this nipple. Uh, okay. No, I didn't. Can, I didn't get drunk, nor did I grab your titties. Okay. But I got some. Stuff. Have a look at these brown oh, nipples. Oh, no, no, no. Have no, a look no. at these brown nipples. All right, Sean. Sean. Let, let's just let's just take it back a little bit. Okay. Let's calm down. Look. Now, the interesting thing about this is you have 11 comedy albums out. Okay. That's right. Now, let's. The, the time you were on our podcast, the first time you were on our podcast, you actually got a lot of recognition and, and internet buzz off of that, way more so than your first 11 albums. I, and I owe it all to the 10-minute podcast, and this motherfucker, Will Sasso, I don't even know who the fuck he is. I, I mean, Nobody else does either. No, I don't know who the fuck this man is, but yeah. he's beautiful, well, beautiful looking. I'd love to meet him one day. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's right. I mean, these people been hitting me up on, the, the, I read your Twitters, yes. right. I read your yeah, iTunes, well, well, what, and everyone's like, Shana, 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 Shana. Shana, 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 hey, Shana, what? Shana, who? That's Shana, a, Shana, what Shana. Shana. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. I guess I don't know. That don't yeah. really say that on Twitter. But so, um, right? What's okay. going on, Sean? So what is, what, yeah, what is going on? You, I got, you, you got you got some good feedback. I got what? some good feedback, and y'all, I got some amazing news. I can't even believe this, y'all. After so many years in the business, I've been doing this for twenty six, four twenty odd nine. To, yeah, uh, just nine a while. Under, under thirty oh, wow. years. I met. I started out uh, opening for all sorts of motherfuckers, and finally they they giving me a development deal, y'all. We shooting a pilot. A pilot? We're shooting a sitcom. A oh. sitcom comedy pilot. Congratulations. Well, hold on Thank one second. Thank you. Hold on one Thank second. you, baby. Thank you. Yeah, well. Um, you're doing a pilot, and well, it's, is it, so you're shooting the pilot. When are you shooting it? We go, we're about to shoot it in a couple of weeks. Uh-huh. We actually so you already have it, you already have it written then? And you it's have all people, written. Is it I, called Shauna? Yeah, how'd you know it was called Shauna? Just a lucky guess. Yeah, it called oh, Shauna. Okay. That's what they was like, this brand recognition. Y'all got to just understand. Right. People be like, Shauna, hey, Shauna. That, Shana, that, and I'll be like I leaned guess. up against the Shana with like a hey, what the fuck? I wish that there was like an eye in my name so the eye could roll up. I'll be like, get the fuck out of here, punch that eye out in the audience, 3D and shit. But the, these are motherfuckers wrote it Sydney Green Green and Seth, uh, 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 like, uh so you have um, some guys. a lot of Jewish, like okay, college so you have boys. Some Jewish that, guys yeah, they're comedy writing, writers, okay. they right. understand my voice. Yeah, but I tell you do? what, actually, okay. I brought some copy here. Oh. This some script that's in the, in the oh. script that's gonna be in the show. Oh, sides is what they're called. Yeah, right? they call Sides. I side with you. No, 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 no. What? Listen, these are called sides. So and this, actor, actors get sides yeah. and they go in and they read with the casting director to hopefully get the part. So and I'm is, saying maybe the, my producers be listening and the, the, the network and y'all can maybe end up on my show. So, oh, this, so it's this, like you're, we helped you and you're helping us. That's right. Like. That's, very, that's very sweet. That's so I, this, I, is that's a scene, this is a scene from your sitcom? This is a scene from Shana I, and you stroke my hand, I stroke your cock. That's oh, how we going to do it. Whoa, that's whoa. how we going to do it, boys. Uh, uh, you take on. care that's of me. A, 
Yo, I take both y'all motherfuckers like I'm like the Don Weeder motherfucker holding up, holding up a bell, a bill, a bib. What the fuck that thing called with a barbell? But uh, with both your dicks, hold no. down, hold your motherfuckers up in the air. No, no, okay, no. listen. Let's no, read this. No. Let's read this. All okay. Right. Oh, no, this is a family show because it's a, family a lot show. of stuff is you're, you're very explicit. Yeah, yeah, I'm very explicit. You but say what's your catch? Yeah, this is okay. a family show. Okay. This is a fa- okay. So, so let me let me set it up. I'll read, set it up. Yeah, but you please you read Mr. Stevens. Me, and, Chris. Yeah, I'll read Mr. And Brian, you read Mr. Dan. For okay, now this is this scene takes place interior in the bank in the day. Shauna sits with the loan manager, Mr. Stevens, who I'm going to play. And here we go. Well, Shauna, I've reviewed your financial situation, and I'm sorry, but we can't give you a loan at this time. Say what? You don't qualify. I'm sorry. But I move all the way out here to rural Minnesota to take care of my niece and nephew after my sister died unexpectedly. And opening this bait and tackle shop on the lake is the only way I can provide for them and take over the mortgage payments of my dead sister's nice house on the lake. And now you're telling me I don't qualify? That's correct. Mr. Stevens, you about to qualify to have me pop a cap in your ass if I don't give me this loan. Excuse me? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> That's it. I've had it. Get out. And another thing, if I have anything to do with it, I'll make certain you never approve for a loan here at Great Lakes Reserve and Trust Credit Union and Loan. Good day to you, ma'am. And just, ju- just in a ca- kindly man in a suit approaches, this is the bank manager, Mr. Danforth. And I'll play that. I'm the bank manager, Mr. Danforth. What's all the commotion? Mr. Dan... Oops, that's you. Uh, Mr. Danforth, this... W- <laughs> Mr. Danforth, this woman came in here to get a loan so that she can take care of her niece and nephew after her sister died unexpectedly and open a bait and tackle shop on the lake because it's the only way she can provide for them and take over the mortgage payments of her dead sister's niece, nice house on the lake, but her credit is terrible, and she threatened to shoot me in the bum. All right, calm down, Mr. Stevens. I'm sure we can find a solution here. Miss, what is your name? My name's Shana. Don't wear it out. Ha ha, delightful. Say, you look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? That depends. Have you ever heard of H.J. out behind this bank? I give him three today. Our girl got to get this loan somehow. I know. You're that comedian. Ha ha, that's it. Yes. I saw you open for George Wallace at the Giggle Room in St. Paul a few years back. I remember that set. I gave George Wallace an H.J. in his dressing room after the show. Your observations on life as a black woman in white America were, how do you say... Off the chain. You made me and my family laugh very hard, Shauna. What can I say? I bring it to the stage. You gonna laugh when you come to my show. And laugh we did. Mr. Stevens, approve Shauna's loan right away. But, sir... I said approve it! <laughs> Shauna, you made my family laugh when we, we came to see you perform stand-up comedy. It would be my honor as bank manager here at Great Lakes Reserve and Trust Credit Union and Loan to make sure that you have the money you need to take care of your family. Because family is the most important thing in the world. That's Right, Mr. Danforth, it is. Family is so important. I think we all learned a valuable lesson today about life, family, and keeping it real. Say, Shauna, what are you going to call your bait and tackle shop anyhow? What else? Keeping it real. <laughs> yes, of course. Brilliant. <laughs> but with the real spelled R-E-E-L, as in fishing reel. You really are something, Shauna. You've won me over also. <laughs> Let's get this paperwork going and get your loan approved. Thank you, gentlemen. How can I ever repay you? Your gift of laughter is repayment enough, Shauna. Thank you. So now that y'all want an HJ on behind the bank? Oh, Shauna, uh, Shauna. you sure do yes, keep it real. Yes, I would. <laughs> she keeps it okay. real. Isn't that great? Uh, well, what do you think? Tell me. Now, be honest. Okay. You, I, I, I mean, just don't see where it's going. Well, I mean, no, I, but that's not really the problem with this. Uh, you said it's a family show, and yeah. you're talking about HJs? That's right. Yeah. Okay, that, that's hand and, job, Yeah, obviously. but that, the audience don't know. See, it HJ appeals on two levels. Like, yeah, appeal on two levels. Like, like, Finding Nemo appeal to, like, kids, but then the adults see the adult humor. I don't see that correlation and also how did your sister die she died and then she leave me the niece and nephew who i gotta take care yeah, but of how, okay well it seems that kind of sad. we don't get into that i just picked the kids up at the beginning of the show they yeah it's not funny sean I, i'm not funny getting... i say all my catchphrases in this show what uh, the uh, fuck listen remember when we were on the first time I'm get upset uh, hold on bright okay, remember when you said the first upset. time right. we should just and you said let's the ki- wrap this up but no and you said that we said comedy is more about than just catchphrases. It sounds like you're just excited to have a show and you want to implement your catchphrases in the show. Yeah. That has nothing that's right. to do. Well, but no, my but that's not a good... are real. They real. I understand that your catchphrases are real, like keeping it real and all that shit. But oh no, Shauna. Shawnee. Keeping it my Here's another. Reader. Okay, there's another problem. Right. This scene is four pages long. It's four pages long. Hey, Brian and Chris, let me 
just stroke off your dog. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah, no, that's no. Okay. I'm gonna do that Stop joke it. on stage. No, hey, don't. What are you writing easy. down? Don't me, write that down. I'm subscribing my pants. Let me read this here. What is it? Subscribe on iTunes, the Tim and the Podcast, and the Stitcher Radio. Hold on, let me grab that. Let go. And Stitcher Smart Radio. Hey, on on your smartphone. I ain't got a my phone drop out of high school, y'all. Let go of my pants. And check us out on Twitter, Tim and Pop. Brian, come on. Let me stop it. Let me stop it. Let me stop it. Come on. You guys think that if I was like a walk on mm-hmm. for the Lakers that I'd make it? No. Like I Jeremy Lin? No, I don't care Knicks. about you know, everyone talks about Jeremy Lin right now, it's getting me super heated. Yeah, but mad. like I could just walk Why on. I'm a guy. Heated, doesn't, doesn't matter. Right doesn't, doesn't maybe it'll work out. Some podcasts are so and you don't know how long they last. Stop fucking singing along. Chris? Guys, fuck up the song. Every. There should be a roar no, at the end of that. Don't there do should the be. Rare. Okay. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. My name is Chris D'Elia. And I'm Brian Callen. And I got to just say that I'm so blessed to be here. And I feel so lucky to have you guys as friends. Thank you, Chris. Weird. Thank you, Will. What are you doing? For being here. Hey, you are. weird police. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know. I know. You see what okay. happens? It's so funny because we're yeah. not used to giving each other compliments. I, I got to just tell you quickly. Um, over the weekend, I went to a Buddhist retreat. And the uh, Rinpoche, the Rinpoche, what? Um, the Why? Rinpoche said to us, he's the, the high priest said, he said, uh, always learn to refocus the eye and look at what's right and not what's wrong. And most of us in the West look at what's wrong and not what's right. And I've really had a seismic shift in my consciousness, I have to say. See? It's so funny. I love. See, now I can get mad at that, but instead I'm going to choose to laugh at it. Oh, I'm just so sleepy. that's hilarious. That you're, it was funny. Through. It was funny, yeah. Like, I had a life-changing experience okay, and he's so. snoring. Well, that's hilarious. Yeah. Like, it's usually it's I'd, be funny, like, yeah. I'd be like, what a fucking asshole. But right. I, but, I, but I'm so, I'm, that's hilarious. You're yeah, the, it's You're funny. the fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Again, so that's awesome. But and that doesn't but make you mad. Well, no, because it doesn't. Because I, I embrace it, and there's such a negative overton- undertone to that. But what I choose to so do if is, I say you sh- your fucking beard is patchy, <laughs> I go it is patchy. So oh. you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. And it's so. not patchy, and it's not patchy, and I know it's oh, not hey, patchy. Brian, Brian, it's a little I mean? patchy. But hey, Brian, yeah. I have something to add to that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that doesn't make you mad, just the way no, he's doing it. it would that you make have a me patchy mad. beard like, and you're boring. No, before the retreat, it might have been made me murderous, you know. But, All right. but now it makes me fucking happy because okay. you guys are my friends, and okay. I want to compliment you. I want to compliment. Oh, okay. I want to take a minute to compliment both of you. Okay. Don't do that. Don't, Our no, listeners don't want to hear I that. I want to show you how this works. L- well, you, I, I want to hear what he has to you, say. You, Chris okay. Delia, yeah, thank you. Are so ridiculously talented, and you know what I think when I look at you? You've got that long hair, six foot two. You're one of the best looking guys in com- your best looking guy in comedy, for my money. Wow. And by the way, if you had to play a prince, if they were looking for a prince, yeah, that you 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 could play a prince, and you wouldn't need makeup or even a cape. Wow. Yeah. I mean, because you're you have, fucking you with have, me, really? No, I'm not. You have a fucking. You have so much raw talent, and you also have such a a deep seated sexual energy wow and, yeah women go crazy for you thank and, you that's very yeah, nice and i'm you. proud to have you as a friend well, I mean, thanks, you're, you're incredible and and you know i i those are really nice me things. wishes i could be like you and wow. will those are nice things will, you said about let me. me talk about you really you are what? you first of all this whole podcast was your idea you're it was. you're it you was. come up you're so creative uh-huh. you're you you have this business mind you have this creative mind you're an incredible musician oh, you're thanks. an incredible Jeez. comic you are very and funny. i'm just i'm not i'm not like a comic i'm more like an actor yeah and you're a great Actor. Actor, You're though. a great actor. See what he just did? What? He just tried to deflect he his tried own to compliment. take my compliment away from, from me. Right. Uh, because he's not used to living in a positive space. And so what I'm going to do is help you guys. Okay. So I'm going to ask you. I'm going to challenge you. No. I'm ask so you I'll do one about Will. I'll do one about Will. You do one, and then you're going to do one about me. Go okay, ahead. cool. You're a very uh, moral person. <laughs> I really appreciate you as a friend. I think you're a really strong individual. You always know what you want, and you get what you want. Jesus. And I think that for uh, my money, he's honestly, he's one of the best guys around in a true, true talent one of the most wow. hilarious guys i've thanks. ever met God, yes. thanks, Chris. Yeah. Well, look, I, you're I so say, good at it i would say the same about you morally you know chris not a lot of people you know know him personally he's such a funny guy right. and he has this this funny bit you know the sort of the way he is out there mm-hmm. I, I, as a comedian that you have to be but he's really a, a very uh morally just a moral statue really he's comes from a great family he has yeah, great he relationship about you now, so make sure his, you don't his copy his now make sure you don't copy his mother right? and his brother well, well, no, thank you i have a good family is what you're saying but he's we're similar though and i think that's why we're friends very funny guy he's 
he's always quick to, to add a joke. But when I need advice or, you know, I, I want to know, I want a moral compass to go to. I, you wow. know, I talk to this guy, I'll call him up. I'll awesome. see what's up. And, Thanks. But awesome. like, we're actually, that's you know, really cool. Of best you, of friends. Okay. So now your here's your challenge. Chris, what do you like about me? Um, okay. Um, um, you, Brian, yeah. what do I say about Brian? He, you're, I mean, if I'm going to look at you, I can just be like, you have, I mean, for your, you, Take your like, time. Uh, no, I know. But if yeah. I'm going to, okay, you have, you know what? Okay. Here's one. You're yeah. very, you're the, for how you are, your mm-hmm. stature and your body mm-hmm. and your physique, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you've got, you mm-hmm. have, wear good clothes for that. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to give you a second. I'm going to give you a second to think of something even more sort of grounded. Right. And Will, let me turn it to you. What do you like about it? I got one right away. Go ahead. What? You, you have very thin wrists. Yep. But how would that be? That kind of goes along with mine. How would that be considered a compliment? Oh, it's not. I love what you're saying, but how would that be considered? Oh, you want a compliment? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, so you went negative. Oh, I didn't know what you wanted. No, I want a compliment. I want you to say, I'm I'm teaching you how to refocus. Okay. How about this? How about this? Your beard isn't patchy. It's just choosing where it wants to grow. That's um, certainly better than patchy because my beard is either Cause, actually. Because remember we were saying one. negative. Remember we were saying negative yeah. stuff about your beard. You, I'm going to flip that and say your beard just kind of. you that I will okay, and like, I'm, I'm going to let you take even more time. What do you want me to say to you? I want you to t- give, give me a compliment. For example, uh, I'm I'm a, I'm incredibly charismatic, right? You have. You want me to say that? Well, yeah, I'd like you to say that because I am. Okay. Uh, what you, if I don't want to? St- well, hold on. Why won't you want? Why don't you want to say it? Say it. But it's, it's inorganic if he just says. Well, I mean, you told him what to say. All right, you got. You're you incredibly. Got, you're okay, incredibly. Well, maybe. You then, got a good, Maybe then I say to you, you're not. Maybe you're not that talented. And by the way, what? you know, your negative attitude might be one of the reasons that the three stooges may not do well. Okay, well that's not. Well, that, but people pick up on it. So, okay, so I'm trying really to help weird. you. No, okay, don't, don't attack so if it makes the movie. Seven dollars. A lot of. You know now. <laughs> what are you now, talking about? Instead of seven hundred million dollars, now 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 we got to look at ourselves. A lot right? of people worked very hard on the movie. Don't disparage the film. They sure the did. Film they were good and, people. And, and the and the leg, and the you know the legend of the, the three stooges and and who they are comedically. <laughs> that's not right. It'd be terrible though if your negative attitude brought. Okay, so what do you want me to say? I want you to tell me that I have that I have incredibly charismatic and I'm really athletic and very intelligent. Okay, I'll say that you are very intelligent and incredibly charismatic. If you tell me that my um, that my calves look like someone uh, tried to stuff a crescent roll and a green pepper up into my leg. All right. I don't I mean, really, you know, what is it? Because like, I have big muscular calves. Well, there's a better way to compliment your calves. Okay. All right. Look, Brian, you're, you have a charisma about you. Uh, sure. Okay. Good, good, How's good, that? Good, good, good. Because so, I don't want to take away – I don't want to say you're not a prince, right? And I could. Whoa. I could. But then it wouldn't be sincere. Well, because he's behaving now – a little bit like a peasant and not a prince, isn't okay. he, right now? Just okay. tell him what he's do you charismatic. Mean, he? Just tell him he's charismatic. And what okay. about... Yeah. Oh, look, at my, look at my shoulders. What am I wearing? I'm wearing a tank top, right? Right, you're wearing a tank so top. So what's going on with my shoulders? Yeah, they're, they're pa- paler. They're pale a little no, bit. No, 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 no. Well, I don't get it. They, good stuff. What's going on with my shoulders? They're... Uh, they're good. They're symmetrical. I, I, they're symmetrical. Yeah, they're, they're, and they look like if you had to describe a fruit. Um, uh, you guys, I can run really fast for my size. Like I'm a big guy, but okay. I run really fast. Is that um, a compliment? Okay, fruit. That's a compliment fruit. to you. Your You're fruit. not complimenting me. Tell me, tell me that I run really fast. Tell me that I'm a huge guy, but I run really fast, and I'll tell you that I'll tell you something nice about your wrist. Okay, I have trouble with that because I haven't seen you run. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Your your shoulders are fruity. You're fruity. What? I, I don't understand what you were trying to say. My shoulders look like ripe pomegranates or something like that right Right, your shoulders do your shoulders look like ripe pomegranates yeah there you go so and they're round and muscular or something like that and i look and you're round and muscular and so i look and i look like a i'm not i'm not round and muscular your shoulders are round and muscular and i look like a what you look Mm. like a prince there we go so okay and i could play a a, a vampire. I could play a vampire. Okay. In. I could be in Twilight. Hey guys, one time when I was a teenager, I was just messing around on the farms, and I I jumped on a cow's back and put him in a sleeper hold and killed killed it. Okay, now um, that's I don't know if that's a compliment or what. That's oh, just kind of weird. But or is that um, a, it's a compliment or to is me? That a lie? No, I really did it. I put I pressed down on the snout and pulled up on his throat. That's I understand really how it worked, but yeah, I pushed down on his snout. Uh, okay, and I bit on his eye. Okay, so God. that's also animal cruelty. Um, so is I, that what I, you I wanted? To I achieve? kind of take away the moral thing that I was telling you about earlier because that's not cool to do it. Well, you're not – okay. I'm not what? Uh, you're not that – I mean, that's not funny what oh, you just said. But so I'm I not guess trying you're not to be funny. funny, so it's oh, like, ha-ha, oh, hey, he's trying hey, to be funny. Hey, I'm not hey, trying mission to be funny. fucking accomplished. You're not funny. 
You just fucking were not. You said I'm not gonna be funny, and you're not funny. You know, Chris. you guys are a couple of assholes. All right, well, you know, oh, you're being a dick. A and you know what? Like, I, and I'm gonna listen to somebody so, with a patchy fucking hey, face. Yeah, you know, you're, you're, I don't have a patchy face. And you know, my my guru, a, my fucking Buddhist guru, fuck guru. should have seen these assholes. You're, and then, and then you realize that some Buddhism doesn't work for everybody because you, you know guys what? are assholes. You're a cock, That's what I see. You're a cocksucker, and by that I don't mean you could you could fit your fucking cock sized wrist and head sized fist into your mouth. Speaking of cocks, you got cock hands and wrists. Speaking of cocks, man. Hey, Will, what? You were fucking that cow or whatever you said. Yeah. How was it? And then also, how was it when the cow fucked you? Because that's obviously what happened. Give well, me five. Give me Don't five. give him five. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for listening to the five. 10 Minute Podcast and for subscribing on iTunes. And we're on Stitcher Radio and Twitter at Shut 10 Minute Pod. Dick and fuck. this didn't cow fuck fuck work. Fuck cock you. sucking cock fucking cock wrists. Brian, Got fucking f- Did I do what yet? Did you start the fucking podcast? I started the... We're starting the podcast. Okay, well, you got to tell me so I don't seem like an idiot. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. Hey, welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And Brian Callen is not with us today. He's actually has an important meeting. He's auditioning for Hangover 3, which I think is interesting because he's offered the first two roles in the first two movies. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's not with us that today. That is weird. That is weird. His, his, uh, his stock is falling. But in his place, he sent a friend of his. Uh, and So allow me to introduce this gentleman. We weren't quite expecting him, but he is a, uh, a professor of zoology at the university in Cape Town. Cape Town University in uh, this is South Africa. South Africa, yeah. Yes. And this is Usu Ngole. Yes. So my my name, the, the way to pronounce my name is Usu Ngole. Usu. Usu. And it's a great Usu. Usu. Well, now, we thanks didn't know for, we didn't know he was coming though, right? Yes. No, we were expecting uh, like another comedian. Or yeah, something. well, it's, Brian, when Brian said that he wasn't going to be here, we thought maybe he's going to send a comedian in his place, maybe a good buddy of his, like Dove David, off a funny guy or something like that. But um, it, it's really great to have you. It's my great, great pleasure to be here in America. Okay, and doing this. Cool. Well, Thank the Ten Minute Podcast so is for yeah. Having me. Oh, great. Well, thanks for coming. The Ten Minute Podcast is all about having fun. Yes. We like to keep it real and fresh, and yes. and so you know we can talk about whatever. Sure. In Africa, we always and say that if you want to have fun, then just watch the ostrich as he runs. You really watch yes. the ostrich as he runs? Yes. What's fun about that? That's fun. Because they are so free. The ostrich can run many miles an hour. <laughs> sure. Right, sure. Yeah, yes. but, but, but who gives a fuck? Though? I am... But why is that fun, I guess? I yeah. Well... I should explain. No, you, but just make it quick. Yeah. I am an ostrich expert. Okay. And okay. so that is my area of focus. Well, and the our, great question oh that many people have asked, yeah. why if the ostrich yeah. is a bird, yeah. mm. can it not fly? No, well, right. you know, here's the interesting uh, thing about us and, and our... The ac- answer must oh, okay. lie somewhere in... Our ancestors, you see, I guess the ostrich, um, you know, comes from different, Usu? Usu? A different species uh, Usu? of Usu? you know, our dinosaur. Okay, our our see our area of expertise here is to have fun. Chris and I and Brian, yeah, we like to talk. There's a dynamic that happens that we yes. we're, we're we're actually great friends in real life. So yeah. you know, do you know? We're, speaking, but we're just having fun. Speaking hey, so of Chris, great friends, Chris, I talked to that ostrich. Mates for life. Is That's that right? great. Speaking of Always. which, can, but Usu, they are, can they I? St- are, they are monogamous animals. Yes. Yeah. Are they? And That's... we can learn a great deal from the ostrich. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was great. Now, That's great. Uh, Thank you so much for joining. Usu, us. now what do you think about that this? Was chiming great. in on this because Will's been trying to see this girl, and finally they've been texting back and forth, yeah. and like she, the, I'm excited. You, She's you hung nice out with girl. her one time. Yeah, we hung out. We went out on a date, and I think it went all right. And you know, she was uh, she was wearing something. She was wearing something kind of hot and revealing. Oh, cool. As long, so, as so, long so as that must mean she's not, into you, as right? As long as she was not wearing ostrich skin, do you know oh, okay. that all the people in Europe yeah. spend a great deal of money for ostrich skin boots yeah. and mm-hmm. purses and sometimes even car seats? Really? This no, I, I guess I understand that. But so, this but, must stop. So what do you think about uh, the 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 what do you think about the dating situation in uh, America? I mean, have you have you met any girls? Have you? I have no time for dating because all of my Jesus time Christ. is spent on ostriches. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I thought so. So, um, did you, do you know that Chris, the ostrich uh, beak 
is almost the same composition as I have. Yeah, this is a comedy mm-hmm. podcast. I'm gonna yeah, have we're to stop trying to have uh, a good so time. This is a comedy podcast. We like to have a good time. We like to talk about fun stuff. And so maybe if you how instead Brian of talking even about know, the, how do you even know? Yeah, Brian? how do you know Brian? Well, I, I'm glad you asked this because yeah, you're you know, glad I asked all the Brian questions. Brian is a great comedian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, we have a great following for him in South Africa. Oh, is that right? Really? Yeah. I didn't realize. Has, that has he ever actually. done stand up kind of out there? Yes, he's done. He's done uh, stand up uh, in in Africa. Oh. And uh, a great many people we call him Itwa Dumela. What is that? <laughs> what does that mean? That means one who greets with great comedic fire. That's uh, there's a word for that. that yes. <laughs> really, the one who yes. meets for great comedic fire. Itwa Dumela. Itwa Dumela. <laughs> yeah. Dumila? Yes. You see, he is a great soul. Hey, Chris, how's everything else going? It, it's going good. You know, like we what, just like how you doing? You just wrapped. Whitney. Yeah, we just wrapped Whitney. A so it's ago, going to, yeah. Whitney's a television show. It actually is going to be airing in in South Africa. Uh-huh. Um, and and uh, I have a movie coming out that's going to be called The Three Stooges. Uh, it's right. The Three Stooges is going to be Stooges. opening in many countries across the this world. Is, this is a this is a movie that uh, was made in 1930. Okay. Okay. Well, well no, yeah, it sure. Was, it was a series of uh, shorts why, that were made through the 30s to the 50s. But why would I watch something that had been done a long time ago? <laughs> because it's... <laughs> when I have a chance to always watch ostriches. Oh, don't uh, talk about the see? ostriches. You know, Please. the ostrich oh, is very for fuck's often... Sake. Look, Dude, let me hey. see. Usu, Ulu, hey. what's your name? No, Usu. 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 Okay, look, hey. look. I, I, I have a great deal of respect for what you do. You. No, it's no, no. Great, listen, but can you hear me out though? Pleasure to be I'm, here. Yeah, there's a but. Okay, there's a but. Listen, listen to me. Listen to Chris. Me. Listen to me, please. Yes. I have a great yes. deal you know of respect for what you got. If you fucking say one more fucking thing about the fucking ostrich, I will brain you right now. You got me? You fucking feel me? And he's gonna be. You're gonna be. I'll rip your fucking. Blonde hair, right? The fuck you got? Goofy ass blonde hair, yes, because and a little listen, fuck you got no chin. Look at the way you people. respond to threats, dude. Yes. Well, you just be oh, well, okay. Well. What about the way you're fucking? He's threatening you. I'm fucking threatening you, dude. Uh, I'll what do you know you, about threats? Beat you up. What do you difficult. know about threats? It's very difficult for me to be to respect your threats because I have been on the side of the opposite side. Of an angry ostrich. Please, oh no, God. God damn it. And did you know? It's so annoying you know when you just fucking everything related. The everything ostrich goes, can kick with the force of no, a I didn't. small car. I don't even know what the fuck you're, but no, well, I don't. Well, I don't care because I, will, I don't care. I will tell you a great story. Oh. There was no, a it's lion. not going to be a it's great It's not going to be a great story. Please there just. There was a great lion who charged an ostrich once. We were watching. And the ostrich, instead of running away, he kicked this ostrich in his head and crushed his head. And the lion do your students, just died. Do your students ever... And so when you make threats to me, okay. it's a great pleasure for me because okay. I don't I don't do, find myself all right. afraid. You're the most right, boring right. person I've ever fucking met. Uh, and no, I've, been, I've been dragging my piss crank around this shit pebble called Earth for quite a while. But you, sir, are the most fucking mundane human being I've ever fucking met. And, and do your students ever just get in a fucking circle around you and kick you in your fucking face? Face, your right. endless fucking talk That's box. Just, okay. You well, fucking Will. walking Will. talking Will. piece of shit. With your, I fucking hate your voice and your accent. You Will. Know, Will. I want Will. you to fucking shut up. You know what's funny about that? If I may. No, please don't. I, or, had, my students, just don't, don't I had my students form a circle around me hmm. and we played ostrich. No, you didn't. Yes, they were kicking like an ostrich. And you know, if you can learn to kick like an ostrich, then oh, no geez. one will bother you. Because... It's a great way to keep your enemies at a distance. Do you know anything about any other animals? Can you yeah. tell us anything what about, about a, any a fucking animal? Zebra. 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 What zebra. about a zebra? How fast does a zebra run? Well, I know that zebras can run almost as fast as, a, don't say as, as an, an ostrich. ostrich. Right, See, I how the fuck do you make a living? Just all you do is sit and you talk about ostriches. You've got a beautiful tweed quote here. Yes. And you, like, how it's do you weird. even make have a you, dollar? Have you ever, like, what is it about you and ostriches? How did you first get in, involved with that? That's so weird. Chris, that don't just, ask him about well, ostriches. Maybe they're all Mother, derailing. I will tell you, I was a student of zoology, mm-hmm. and many zoologists can speak about a great deal of Can animals. you talk quicker? Can you talk quicker? It's yes. only 10 minutes. Yes. You're not ta- What do you mean, yes? That was the longest That's yes you've so done all, all day. I can speak as quickly as you like. But you know, mm. isn't it important to it's take our time? One of the things I always find, and I learn every day, is when I watch the ostrich, oh. how much time he takes with everything. 
What the oh, fuck thank are you talking about? Goodness, this you is over. You just said an ostrich is so fast like a car, and then you said it takes its time with everything. You're just fucking saying willy-nilly about ostriches. Usu, get the fuck out of here yeah. right now. Well, I want before to thank Chris you. It has been a great pleasure for me. Shut up. To be here with you. I'm sorry if you are agitated. Leave. I want you to, I want you to leave, or I'm going to ball my fists and beat on you. Well, I'm gonna break your skin with my fists. Will. Do you do know that the ostrich does not have fists, but... <sighs> no, I know. Of course it has fucking, fucking wings. wings. Yes. It has wings and feet. Yes. Thanks See, for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. Um, we Thanks have for learned a great deal about subscri- ostriches We don't want to learn shit about fucking I don't like the way you ostriches. smile. I don't like the way you smile, bro. Did you know we, that the circumference for, of an ostrich egg is 71 for, centimeters? For you told on, us that before the on fucking iTunes podcast. iTunes, and, and we're on Stitcher Radio. And check us out on Twitter at 10 Min Pod and Usu... <sighs> Don't thank talk. You. And it, no, no. Don't say thank, thank you. you. We don't like you. We don't like you. We don't like you. Yes. We want you to go. No, away. not yes. We don't. Yo, why are you eating that so loudly? How's what? your How's your apple? It's my favorite fruit, man. Apples make your junk taste so good. What? Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to Ten Minute Podcast. Hey, welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm Chris D'Elia. The way you're... Sna- it's just so obnoxious. Can we just... Why are you eating it like that? Say your name. I'm Brian Callum. Right. Well, why'd you have to eat that now? Yeah. Apples are so welcome good for you. And they make you junk. Uh, Tastes like bubble gum. No. <laughs> no, what? they don't. Yeah, no. Don't be one of those guys. Because there's always guys that are like, oh yeah, pineapple. Yeah, it makes your... Yeah. Uh, pineapple does better. Pineapple uh, makes your thing apple? like this. Celery oh. makes you, you, you shoot with a apple. more... Apple makes you shoot further. Cake Apple makes shrinks you, your cake, prostate. Cake makes you it shrinks your prostate. So cake makes it, you take taste your penis tastes like cake if you rub it all over your penis. Dude, have you heard that one? That if you have to, if you if you well, actually take cake and yeah, rub it, it all over your sense. penis, it makes your penis taste. Yeah, like it makes cake. sense. But Brian, just eat your fucking apple. Don't. But hurry up and eat to, it. Stop eating it into the fucking microphone. No, oh, I want to share this with people because. Women love they fucking love when your junk tastes like bubble gum. Why but wouldn't they? Bubble gum is great. That's true, but why does it, how does apple make you taste like bubble gum? It does something chemically to your to your downstairs area. So it's like a gift. We were we were thinking that <laughs> Here's what we were thinking. We're thinking that today we would uh, dedicate the show to the ladies and do a show just for the ladies. Well, since we started out, yeah. So. Well, things have started off a little weird, truly. But um, you know, on on the ten minute podcast, things tend to skew a little male because we're so manly. We're such manly guys uh, that it just can't help but be a boys' club. Um, but today we we want our female listeners out there to know that we are thinking about you. We want the show to be for you too. And Brian wants you to um, put your mouth on his bubble gum. <laughs> There's nothing like that. What? And there's nothing like what? You've you've tasted a guy no, bubble gum? Gross, but All right, just, well, there's nothing like what then? Just to just just to give a woman your essence like that. Just like just be like, here you go. This is for you. What do you mean? Actually say that? Yeah, yeah that's what, you, you actually say that during when sex. You climax like that, you're just what like, you yeah, oh, here you go. Merry Christmas in July or whatever. Wait, you say it in uh, July? Yeah, or sometimes you're just like, here, taste this filthy sweet. <laughs> Why are you, don't do that with your hands. Why, because I thumb off? Yeah, yeah you're thumbing yeah, off with your thumb. Yeah, use my thumb. Sometimes you can be like this too. You can be like, oh, here come the white sweet worms. White mm. sweet worms, bubblegum <laughs> worms. If a girl, if you had sex with a girl for the first time and you said that, she that. would think you were fucking clinically insane. Well, Here come my sweet white worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I, I always say this. Shit. I always say, oh, I'm going to fall. Why? Why? <laughs> And then Why? I fall on them. Oh, you're you know a big guy, dude. Yeah. How? I say, mayonnaise sandwich. Oh, gross. And I that's fall not, on them. That's not you know safe. I, so wait, so then you, you shoot, you, you get, it's on them, and then you go mayonnaise sandwich, and it just like yeah, that? Yeah, and I go, you're a hot dog bun. I'm a, I'm a French loaf. That's, and I fall. Ew. That's not a trick. That I makes fall. Me wanna, you know what I, I do? You know what makes I do? me want to throw up. You, you know what I do? I go, this is exactly what I do every single time whenever I have a climax. I always go like this and I say it like this. I'm from Connecticut. 
Why? I don't know. Does the girls like that? Why? I don't know. But you're it's not com- from Connecticut. I know I'm not, but I just look so at them and I, the face. You guys can't see the face I do, but I kind of do like the face that all sitcom stars do yeah. on a, a poster. You look like, like what the heck? Yeah. And I you go, look like that. But I say, you look like the long-haired guy in the Whitney billboard. Well, no, that is me. But, oh, that is. But what you. I do Sorry. is, and then when I climax, I, I go like that. I do that face, and I say, I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> What do they say? That's they so you never do, really say anything. You but do they, look a little. It, it, for our listeners, he looks a little like Johnny Galecki in Big Bang Theory without the glasses when he does that face. Right, right. He's kind of. I'm from Connecticut. Yeah, it's pretty. God cool. bless you. That's how I say that. Sometimes. My knees. Why do you say <laughs> my knees? Yeah, my knees. All right. Oh okay, yeah. So how is this for the? I don't, I don't understand. How I this don't is know for the how ladies, this so. is for okay. the ladies. So hey, let's get back ladies, on track here. Ladies, here. This is what I want to say. Ladies, help us out. <laughs> what do you want the show to be about? Oh, there's no one here but us. Yeah, no, it's just so us. we have to deliver a show for the ladies. I think that women want to connect emotionally, and I think that they want to um, they want the real you. You know, a lot of times we tend to attach sort of a construct on on you know where we play a masculine guy and they play a feminine guy. Right. But I think what women feminine want feminine girl. You said feminine connect. guy. You I said mean, feminine, feminine guy. Girl. Right. But I think they just want to connect on a human level. Women always want kind of a connection. And yeah, men, but it's hard nowadays. Women can't really do that because the world's full of douchebags and bitches. So you don't know if you're like a good person and not a douchebag, and you're out there with a chick who's a good girl and not a bitch. Then maybe okay, you have well, a shot. Yeah, but, 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 but usually what happens is is I'm a good guy and I'm hanging with a bitch. Okay, well, or sometimes I think a chick is a bitch. But she's not. She's a good girl. Right. And then I'm being a fucking douchebag because okay. I think she's a fucking bitch. It's like who and no can... one gets no one gets anywhere when right. that happens. You're, you're coming off a little bit harsh, but yeah, it's yeah. like it's like you trying to you're trying to beat the bitch by being a douchebag before her bitch. No, 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 no. That's the fucking problem with uh, these douchebags. That's okay. the problem with these douchebags is because they go, well, I'm going to be a bigger fucking douchebag. And Brian's right. You just got to be yourself. And the the thing what, what, what it is is, uh, it come, it's it's all about being yourself no matter what in in the face of bitchness. All right. And just making sure that you're giving to the world, giving your gift. But you, you keep pushing, you keep like punching bitch. Yeah, the way you're saying bitch, you're it's saying so aggressive. bitch. Like, yeah. just no, say, because I say it like NWA. I say it like Ice Cube and Drain. Well, you don't really say it like that, though. It also sounds like you don't like women. Yeah. Right? I love women. I love women. And I think uh, that we are, as a species, uh, about to return to harmony with between men and women. Well, now and you I just know sound that, like a I know that I've color. gone I've gone through my own uh, little bit of a metamorphosis. Sure, I grew up with what I like to call now FTS, which is fat teenager syndrome. Sure, maybe the girl in high school didn't like me, even though I was on television while I was in high school mm. and hey I was captain of the football team okay. but she never I didn't well, get laid okay. until I was about 20 or 21 right. well listen Will you yeah. sound dangerously close to blowing up a building no yeah no, no you really do and no. I but now but now uh, I'm, You're I'm, holding on to the ch- both chairs with both hands. It's no, like, I'm not. What are you doing? I'm not. Your f- okay, knuckles but are you are. But no, I'm not. Y- y- I'm just, Your face is so red. <laughs> um, it's because it's hot in here right well, now. Well, you very seem hot in mad here, or something. And you, okay, I'm not look, mad. So anyway, ha- the fact this is for the ladies. This podcast is yeah. 10 minutes. So far, it's been seven minutes. Nothing has been about the ladies. <laughs> so why don't you guys just... What do you do to... Uh, I connect with them. I talk right. right so you're, you're saying is you connect with them I connect with emotionally. Them. Yeah. You show them you. I don't push anything. You don't... I, okay. I, I, I get into their space. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm doing right now? This is a seductive voice. Well... And I listen and, um, and I thank them. Okay. And then I and then then, then I, pu- I peel. I just peel my piece out. No, don't see do that. that. The whole thing is like the. No, I'm saying that's what you're saying. I'm saying that when you, you say God bless go, you, no, that's no, no, not going to work. Don't go into the sex right away. Right. Connect with them first. Laugh with them for how many dates? Treat them like a queen. For how many dates? For at least half the date. Okay. And then what? And then you know, peel out your junk you know, and all, say, "This is for you." What you're like saying. That, you that is exactly how you did it. You know, all this is for you. That's, that's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. Exactly what you I know, said. all joking aside, what I really enjoy doing around ladies is not saying anything. Because mm, I'm a verbose person and, uh, you know, I make my living uh, talking as an actor. You're also a spaz and completely ridiculous when it comes to women because you don't know how to behave around them. Now, I, I no don't want to be rude. That's, that's not true at but all. But that is very true. No, you that's not true at all. You're a fucking spaz. I'm not, not a fucking spaz. I'm not trying to be you're rude. Spaz. I'm no, not trying I'm to not. be rude. Fucking but you're I'm, right. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm awesome around women. Women are very, very comfortable around me. No. You don't, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. know how to speak. You, the, the, the minute you get around women, you're like, "This is Will. This is Will on a date. This is Will yeah. on a date." Um, you know, like fucking. <laughs> I got, can I have a pickle? That's Will when on a dinner date. When the fuck have I ever said that? That's Will on a dinner date. I would never say that. Do you that. have cheese? <laughs> 
you're, you're, making that, you're making that, that Connecticut face that again. Is, that's such a good impression of Will. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. But that's I'm why a, you got to take a girl back to her house or your house. You treat her like a lady. You do some soft poetry in her ear. You say, I'm a wonderful jaguar. What? I'm whispering in your ear. I love you. We're both beautiful people. And then right when you climax, you say, I'm from Connecticut. Uh, don't, no, why the Connecticut thing again? So why not? I'm, a, so I'm like a philosopher. Why not? Hey, uh, hey, gals. We hope you enjoyed the, <laughs> the show for you. Oh, man. I'm actually, I'm actually really good on a date. You know what I always say on dates? Don't ever say anything. Don't share anything on a date that they can't just Google on their own. Or in my case, IMDb, because I'm a very, very successful actor. All right. So, uh, by the I way, say, if you do the I'm from Connecticut thing, tweet us, because I want to hear about it. I say to women, I usually say, as long as you do everything I fucking say, and, and, and you understand that I am your king, we're going to get along incredibly well. And no woman... It, it, and I like my sandwiches toasted. <laughs> thanks for listening like to the 10-Minute Podcast. The fucking floor, and uh, thanks and you for, have to groom my dog. Thanks for subscribing <laughs> and listening on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. And check us out on uh, Twitter at, at 10 min Pod. I'm from fucking Connecticut. Spaz. You're a spaz. I'm not a fucking spaz. You're a spaz How about dude. I fucking separate every bone in your fucking body? Don't get aggressive. Uh. Some podcasts are so... Chris, relax. That just made me more mad. Come on. Why are you mad? Right. That just made me more mad. Whoa. What, what? He's fucking looking at me like he's going to fucking kill me. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Calm down. I'm going to fucking kill you. But if you man. just order from the well, same place. No, no, no. Stay over here. Stay over here. If you just oh, yeah. order from the same Don't place, just in. order food from the same place no, and then I'm you won't. Bullied. You're not being bullied. Hey! <laughs> Stay over here! God damn it! What the fuck is going on? Fuck you! Sit down! No, sit down. No, Chris, Chris! Excuse me! If you just order from the same place, then you Excuse guys can me. both just. We're ordering Luis's tutorial. Just, let's just order from Luis's. <laughs> Get out! I had it in fucking mind. I, uh, I have a confession to make. What? What? I've been recording this. Why? Because I just want the audience to know what it's like to work with two fucking idiots no, who can't. No, you can't record this, man. Yeah, we want to order. Guys food. can't decide. Here's, fucking explain the problem, Chris. I want to order fucking every time we come here. We order food. Yeah, but I'm. And getting... it's always from the same food. Shut the. This is my fucking turn to talk. Okay? Jesus, you're fucking Brian, aggressive. Put the he's got fire put in the, his at eyes. At least put the headset okay, on. Okay, but he's got every fire time we in his fucking eyes. come here. First of all, that's bullshit that you were recording us. Second of all, every time we come here, we order from the Luis Trattoria. It's a good fucking place. And you like it, dude. And now you want to bullshit with some Thai food. Yeah, because which I don't eat. it's Vietnamese food. There's a huge difference. You, okay, you, you said it was Thai food. Yeah, you well, said I changed it was Thai my food. Because so, you're a racist. I'm, you're a racist. Okay, you what? said Thai food. You're lumping Vietnamese people in with Thai You people. did, because you said it was Thai food, and it's not. And I just went by it's, your it's fucking fr- lead. No, it's you Vietnamese. Said, the first thing you said was dim sum, which is Chinese. That's true, which you is said fucking completely dim sum, racist. Dim sum and then you said, Maybe we can get some Chinese. sushi. No, exactly. I did, say, no. did you not say let's get yeah. some sushi from I the said, Vietnamese place? I said dim sum because I'm looking at your skin, both of you, and you have dim sum looking skin. Your skin is white and very, very pale and very chalky and, and very you, and and soft. And I don't want you, to fucking You look get, like wet dough. What? There, Why don't it. you just get the fucking just, what we just, like, dude? Just okay. order what we like. All right, I'll get the pan seared salmon, uh, soy ginger marinade. That's what I'll get. with uh, Oh, with black coconut rice. That's what I'll have. Yeah. Because I want black coconut rice. It sounds amazing. And if you wonder why my skin looks so like glossy and young and, and dark, it's because I eat well. Okay? You live on mustard sandwiches. No. You eat, yeah, you do. No, I You eat. live on mustard sandwiches and cotton candy. I know that for a okay, fact. Well, I don't fucking eat that shit. What I want to get is chicken. I want to get meatballs. And I want to get fucking a little bit of pasta, dude. I'm an Italian guy. Yeah, well, I and I'm not trying you. to hide who I am. What, oh. are you, what, are you, what are you, dude? What, what, what are you? What am I? He's what Romanian, were you fucking he's made? A Ro- Romanian Jew. You're a I, Romanian. Okay, I so you're not, a Romanian Jew. So no, what you should be I'm, eating I'm are a, fucking potatoes and wood. That's what you should be eating, okay? And you don't. You try to pretend. That's a, that's a sem- anti-Semitic. I, I don't. I'm not Jewish. I'm not Romanian. I don't. And Jews from Romania. Everyone knows that Romanians don't eat potatoes no, and wood. But what? everyone knows that Romanians do have a fucking week in the year where they feast on wood, and that's. And you know they're that's not, true because you're Romanian and your family does it. They're not human beavers, you idiot. I'm. I never said they were you're, beavers. You're and likening that's, them to beavers. No, they. They. They call it the wood munching week. 
Why are but they say it in Romania, they say in Romania, which is whatever it is. I don't which know what it is. Uh, Kunchen punchen, munchen punchen. Oh right, my and God. it's mu- what a bunch of horse shit. Kunchen punchen, munchen punch. Funny thing, you mentioned that is too. Romanians have been known to actually dine on horse shit. Uh, I'm not lying. I'm getting dude. the. Fu- I'm not Romanian. Let me see. If Do you this... watch the History Channel as much as I watch the History Channel? I don't know, Chris. Probably not because I fucking saw a bunch of specials on Romanian food. I'm I'm they're, trying they're to order from from a Vietnamese restaurant. You guys call me a the... Romanian wood eating Jew. That's a- what you're calling. A and E has Shit Week coming up where yeah. they t- discuss all the cultures that eat shit. Yeah. And Romanians eat shit. Right. They eat yes. their own feces. Yes. Yes. I know you're. So both- here's what here's the problem. Oh, I'm not hungry. I ate on the way here. Okay. Uh, Chris wants food, and you want food, but you want to eat poo, and Chris doesn't want to eat the poo. That's the thing. I've and t- I'm trying to wonder why. But I, you why can't I would even answer eat what the fuck. Mm. I didn't even. You know what? I got said, a great idea. You're I'll, a shit I got a great idea. I'll or we'll order food. I'll eat. You hang out for four hours. I'll, we'll go to the bath. I'll shit out, and then you just eat that, I'm dude. Fucking because you're fucking, motherfucker. You eat wood. I punch Here's, you in the face, right? and you eat shit. Don't more, call me a wood eating shit eater. More yes. to that point, I already ate, so I could probably shit pretty soon. Dude, that's Brian. a great idea. So why don't you shit by the time my food gets here, and we can both feast okay. at the same time? We have to be in different rooms because who would want to be around get, a guy take eating your hands shit out while my he's face. Don't put your hands on my face. Get, get your hands out of my face. Don't put ah! You got to fuck, fuck, Chris. He you're just a fucking my, wood eater. I, I call the fucking cops right. You're I'll sue you right now. Do? Guys, no hitting. Don't touch okay, my you're face. Right. You know what? I, All right, okay, dude. Okay. I make my living there's off two, my face. There's two rules okay. of the ten minute yeah. podcast. Right. Number one is don't talk over each other. We break that all the time. <laughs> and number two is no hitting. He struck my what, face. He struck my visage. One? You saw it, and and people heard it. And I'm going to use it against you. All right. You struck my visage. Don't do that. But that you know what, dude? What if 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 it came down to fighting? I would best you because you get fuck your, all you, you eat put is your wood hand, and take shit. Take your hands out of my face. All you eat You're is fucking wood and touch shit. my face. Get your hand. Don't bro. call me a wood eating. Sh- don't call oh, me a wood. Bro, listen Chris, to me. Chris, no. Don't. Ah, ah, hey, oh, man. Fuck. Ah. Dude, I'm sorry, oh but God. you wouldn't fucking. You, you broke the first rule, oh. okay? You broke the first rule and you talked okay. over me. The first oh time you God. hit him was just on your own. You should not have done that. The okay. second time is because he was talking over you. Yeah, and he deserved. Did he not deserve it? I didn't. He broke the first rule. He's trying to talk. Will, that was actually really hard. Okay. Are you okay? Brian, you no, crying? Right. He you was crying? talking. You were talking over Will. Oh, are you crying? You were talking over Will. Oh, fucking I'm crying. You fucking All right. Relax. You want to relax. You need ice? You want to relax. All right. Relax. You want to You want to eat the fucking cold? Like, you, you put your hand on my face. I'm fucking like two as well. You want? You fucking it, Okay. I fucking. You smack me one more fucking time. I fucking guy. I swear to God. I'll fucking uh, I hit you, you twice. Will hit you the third time. And it was way harder. Okay. And he's bigger. And he fucking doesn't. He doesn't Brian, need wood. Just calm you down. You fucking calm you down. You calm down. Ah, 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 I said ah. calm down. I said calm down. <laughs> calm the fuck down. Stop squealing. Stop <laughs> damn squealing like a pig. God you damn wanna, it, you guys. You, you want to squeal listen, like a pig? Listen. I'll smack you like a pig. Listen. <laughs> Will, Will. <laughs> Ten Minute Podcast is experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Get his, get, get, his get his pants. Get his pants. Get his pants. Pull his pants. Get his pants. Get his pants. Get his pants. Yeah. You want to squeal? Hey, yeah, turn. you want to squeal? Take this apple. You wanna... Put this apple in his mouth. Put the apple in his mouth. Put the apple in his mouth. Eat that shit. Eat oh, that oh, shit. Oh, ain't too bad it okay. ain't wood and shit. Get the two. Get the two. Get the two. Put it in his ass. Put that, it in well, his ass. No, that's okay. okay. I don't do that kind of stuff. I'll suck it. Hold on. No, 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 no. I don't do that. Police. No, no, no. Police. He's shitting. Police. He's shitting. Okay, Make him listen. shit in the truck. Well, Make him shit in the truck. No, I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with making right. him shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's squeezing my stomach. Please don't I'm not into shit. this. I'm, I'm standing. Like, I'm going to call somebody. Well, this Chris, is. turn him around. Turn no, around. no. Okay. Eat it. Eat the shit. God damn. He Eat likes it. it. He likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like. See? You like it. You like Ryan. it? <laughs> No. What do you, you mean? Like no, it. you're like eating it. Don't. Just right here. Waste. You're really hungry. <laughs> Ew, dude. You don't want to waste it. See, you're See, Romanian. You are a sh- <clears throat> you're a shit eater. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. My shit burp. <clears throat> oh, it smells so bad. Oh, it smells like burp and shit. <clears throat> Uh, Brian. Uh, All right. Okay. So we've agreed. Are, are you, you doing? Why are you? Why are you? What? Brian. Why are you? Why are you grabbing the chair? Why are you grabbing this chair? Are you eating that? You're eating the chair. You're eating shit and wolf it. Will. 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 He's turning into a beast. He's eating. Sh- 
Brian. He's shitting again. Brian. Brian. Uh, he likes it a little bit. <laughs>
And um, well, that's you just are doing as bad. What? No, it's not. They're, you were trying to rid the bay of seals. Yeah, because they're they're the rats of the sea. But what do you mean you rid, you were going to rid them? Yeah, like because, shoo them away, or well, um, you try to exterminate them. They're, they're, the seals are basically huge rodents. A lot of people don't know this. No, they're they, cute. Yeah, I know, but they carry salmonella. And, uh, and so, what are you with the Surfrider Foundation or something? What are you um, just, who who's giving you the authority to go around killing seals? Okay, let, oh, let me back up here. Um, I can't I, believe you killed a dolphin. I know. I bought a harpoon. Uh, on the internet, okay? Let You're an actor, comedian. Yeah. Why did you buy a harpoon? Because... You bought a harpoon. No, because to rid the Santa Monica Bay of, of um, and, and the, who sea, em, the sea and, rats, and right? And who employed you to do this? Okay. All right. Nobody. But let, let me... Okay. Oh, Jeez, Brian. I know. I know. I know. And I know in... you guys are going to be... All right, look, okay. no ju- judgment, I guess. And, and, but, and I, mean, I know seals are cute, but somebody told me they carry salmon on that they're who? in the rodent family. Who told you that? Who, who what? Like who told you that? Some <clears throat> Asian that fisherman they, or something? Yeah, who wants I, to... I, I heard, so I think I was down, somebody, uh, um, uh, just a group of people and, who were down there. And um, so, I, okay, so anyway, I'm, I'm looking, I'm hunting seal, and next thing I know, this dolphin keeps coming up and bumping my boat. He and, wants to play. They're you very know, intelligent. I, I took it as aggressive, and so I speared it. I gave its calf a warning. I speared its calf. What? It, what? You killed? How many? You killed did you? a dolphin calf? I don't know if I killed it. I'm not checking it with a stethoscope. I a didn't check its heartbeat. You know, you killed the other one. Well, ha- okay. Can I finish? You okay. killed a baby dolphin. I didn't. I st- I stabbed it. I gave it a, a poke in the fucking ribs, so it leave me alone. I swear to God, I next was... to a chimp, I think a baby dolphin has to be the cutest animal. <sighs> yeah. Like a baby chimp. I know. Then I feel a baby guilty. Dolphin. That's why I said yeah, I want to get many, it off my how, chest. How many I... Yorkies did you kill? Come on, dude. All right, so what the fuck? So, so you then, did... so then I thought if I speared the calf and just gave it a little gack like that, that the mom would be like, let's get the hell out of here and take the calf. And yeah. then the calf goes belly up, which I felt bad about. I'm sure it wasn't dead, but it was probably stunned. And then and then the the mom keeps with that stupid bulby head. And I fucking I, I unloaded my harpoon into it. Oh jeez! Then what, what did you get? What did you do? Like who was with you? Did anybody see this? Oh uh, no, uh, I don't think so. And then I, t- I had to get the harpoon out of its head because they're expensive, and it was just such a fucking mess. But you know what else is expensive? <sighs> what? Dolphins. I know. They're you priceless. can't just fucking kill them. I they're... know, but they fucking things bumping my boat like an asshole. What did you I... do with What did you do with the dolphin? Please just tell me you let the dolphin lay in its in its ocean ocean bed, its its ocean grave. What did you do with the dolphin? I wrapped it in towels and I buried it in my backyard. <laughs> what? You what? I know. I know. Oh, Brian. I'm thinking what? about. I'm gonna. I was gonna cut it up and feed it to my dog or something like that. Um, Brian, this is terrible. This is absolutely a, just the most abhorrent crime. Chris stole did anybody, a hat and, and did it, and nobody saw it. I was with someone, and I'm gonna explain this to you. Who was with you? So he knows. Uh, Who knows? He did know. Who? <sighs> Just somebody, if I, I don't want to go into who, it's who just a knows? friend of mine. It's somebody who was in my acting class a while ago, and his name is Kevin, and he came along with me, and and he, and, and I killed him, too. Kevin? Oh, I killed him, too. Oh I know. Hold on. Whoa. I know. Whoa. Hold on. I know. So, I know. Oh I know. And he's in my backyard. Uh, Brian! I know! What do you I mean? Know. You keep saying you know, but you I'm don't sorry. know. Don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not the only one who's done bad fucking things. And I, I, I panicked. Stole, I stole ahead of Rite Aid. Okay, I, I panicked. I, I, I buy bags and bags of plums and berries and well, feast on them. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, everybody has their own one, fucking but... thing. It is, that is weird. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if, you know... The, the, I, I, I just you know it's a harpoon and I and I flipped out and then I when I and then I unloaded it on Kevin and I, I think he, do we know Kevin huh do we know Kevin who's Kevin he works at Trader Joe's he's a good the guy the, yeah the, the guy I I, he's always looking for something to do he's lonely and I said come out with me and maybe in the back of my mind I wanted to fucking off him because he's fucking got no family and he's just always on his bike. Wait a minute. I know. Hold on. I know. I, 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 I know. Why did you start this off? I by was saying... fucking bored. And then this goddamn uh, this dolphin, you know, with his with bulby yeah, head. I get it, but it just sounds like you hate dolphins and. Uh, okay, you've never Kevin. done anything. You've never done anything really bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, worse than being addicted to fruit. Yeah. Sure. What I. uh you guys remember the actor Richard Grieco? Yeah. Have you seen him around recently? No. Not really. I saw him at If Looks Could Kill was the last thing. I, I pushed him out of a plane. 
Are you That's kidding? murder. I pushed him out. He might have lived. Oh, we no, were skydiving. How? He we were skydiving. Wings. Did he have his chute? He was wearing a leather coat. Maybe he oh, could have like. Will. Like, he could have been like Why a flying squirrel. Why did you murder squirrel. an actor oh, like that? I, we were we were skydiving, and man. I pushed him out of a plane. Why? Because I'm stronger than him. Uh, That's not a justification. Chris, Chris, do you have anything? I mean, those are bad. I, I suppose I have. Suppose I have something. Yeah. What? What? There was this uh, guy. He was like a. He was like nineteen year old kid, just getting into acting. Had a lot of offers and stuff. And uh, his name was Brad. And he just. Um, I got some dirt on him, and I, I, I just told him. I said, if you ever f- fucking try and work in this town, um, I'll, I'll expose you. I'll expose everything that you are. And um, you kept a, a, a young man from his living obtaining his dream. His dream. Yeah. Did you keep him? Did you keep him? He's Where right now. I, no, he's alive. You never let us in your basement. What the fuck is going he's on? He's alive. Um, and uh, you have a human he, pet. He's a. I keep him. I have food and shit. Oh I have, my! You're keeping a boy. God, how does he get so he's, he's not 19 now. He's, he's 29. Oh, <laughs> you kept him for 10 years. You've kept a human he man. Looks nobody really, gives, nobody's he looks hurt. Sad. He looks nobody, all sad and. Uh, of course he does, man. You got to see a guy. It's one what, thing to kill a to harpoon, see. a dolphin, and another guy you named Kevin. But yeah, nobody he, misses he Richard Grieco. Every day I see him, he knows that he he lost his dreams because of me. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast and subscribing on iTunes. We're on Stitcher. Smart Radio and check us out on Twitter at 10 Min Pod. Uh, Brian, what would you be able to do to stop me if I decided to just hold you down and shave There's your entire you could body? Do. You could shave his entire body. Oh, shit, just shave your body. Yeah, I'd stick my fuck. I'd stick my fingers in your throat. I'd smack no. your hand away and shave your body. I'd videotape it. I'm not Some a- podcasts are slow and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. Yeah. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm Chris Alia. And I'm Brian the Kid Callen. I want to talk about something serious today. Like, when you get, like, a, have a real topic about Let's something. Let's talk about something real. Whatever you want to talk See, about. See, you you're nah. like a. He's. You're, stop stop kissing at okay, him. Every time sorry. I try to bring up something serious, okay. this idiot. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Politics? You want to talk about, you want to talk about what's going on in the world? You want to talk about Middle Imba- East? Imbach Obama? Do you have. Imbach Obama? It's Barack yeah, Obama. Yeah, What did he say? I said. Uh, you, you, I believe that you made that mistake because you're that ignorant. You no. know that Chris, for the listeners, doesn't eat vegetables, and you know why? He, they're just not that good, yeah. he said. No, they're not good. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. I ate, I ate a little bit of arugula, though. You saw me what do you, what do you What do you want to talk about? We should talk about nutrition and how, um, oh, maybe, I don't know, and how much healthier we'd be, how much money we'd save on health care if we actually... I'm bored. I'm fucking bored as shit That would be a good idea. Did you get a chance to finish my sentence? Thank God. Because it was a boring Thank sentence. Thank God. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we talk about the uh, Republican already primaries? Already bored. Already bored. Oh. See, notice how I said that I'm bored as bored. you said the boring bored. thing. Bored. What do you guys want to talk about? Here's what, okay, I what do you want to talk about? I actually feel like moving forward with the 10-minute podcast that we have room here to introduce a new a new segment okay. and a new bit i think i know the people out there have been enjoying the shauna uh yeah yeah the shauna mm-hmm. character yeah. yeah uh that we've been doing um i was thinking moving forward wouldn't it be cool if shauna had her own segment on the show her own segment on the 10 minute podcast yeah, okay if uh she had her own segment is she around well we could i'm sure we could summon her some way okay and uh if she had her own segment called the keeping it real uh-huh. With Shona. Mm, that sounds good. What do you think of that? Uh-huh. She does keep it fucking re- seriously real. The one real. thing about her is that she definitely keeps it real. Yeah. yeah. So I think we should do that. And now it's time for Keeping It Real with Shana. Here we, here we go. My name is Shana. I'm Keeping It Real on the 10-Minute Podcast with Brian Crystal Will. Shit. Hey, y'all. Thanks for having me here on the 10-Minute Podcast with y'all. I got my own segment. Raise the roof. I got my own segment. Oh, hey, Shauna. What's hey, up? You keeping it, it real, going, Shauna? What's going on? Oh, look. It's Will Sasso. I finally get to meet Will Sasso. Hey, baby. How you doing, Shauna? I'm doing pretty good. Give me a kiss. Oh, okay. Ew, oh, why are you agreeing to that? She's, she's sexy, guys. Well, oh, that's not really yeah, keeping it real. A, oh, oh, touch my tail. Oh, 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 gross. So, Dude, Shauna, what on. do you want to talk about? Well, what's the problem with the show? Y'all ain't coming up with no topic. What's uh, up? Yeah, well, that's, I, that is kind of an issue. We've kind of run out of topics and stuff. And why are you? I think y'all should talk Will's about. Like I that. think y'all should talk about what kind of man oh. y'all like to fuck on the road. This concludes keeping it real with Shana. Hey, my name is Shana, and I kept this shit real. So I love motherfuckers.
guy because now you know the deal. Uh, okay, well, that's not really going to yeah, help us. Yeah, talk about men we yeah. fucked on the I road. Don't, she, forget that. Forget that she said that. I never yeah, fucked well, a man maybe, on the road maybe or women. at all. You, you have no, I haven't. You have never? I've never fucked never. a man. You've never had sex? No, I've had sex. You've din- done it after you driving never, on a road. Yeah. You so, never had a but guy. But I've never had sex with you a never, guy. You never threw on a half shirt and hung out and had some guy pay you 50 bucks to fucking pull your hair and, and, and work your mouth? No, man. You well, never have. No, not once. Well, you walk around like a wisp, willy, willowy wisp, and, and, I, and I know you also like girls, but you're telling yeah. me that you've never had a guy grab a handful of that thick, tussled hair and just work your mouth? This no. Is, that's, 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 look, it's really, it's besides saying, the point. It's besides the point. Shauna just kind of didn't. That's not a very good that's topic not a good for I mean, it, what's it keeping it real sense. about that, I guess. You I guys ever been with a guy? No. No, I've oh, never no. been with a guy. I'm heterosexual. Maybe you? No. I mean, you're acting, but you're the way you're... No, no, I mean, do you think define that, define be with a guy. Have though. you had like, sexual relationships? Have, have you put with a guy? your penis into a guy's oh, body? God, gross. No, I've had very, very strong kinship feelings. I had a, I was wrestling with a guy in Europe. I remember, and he was dark, very dark. It was so weird, tall, and um, we were. Uh, oh God. Yeah. See, I think we're our, I think we're struggling already. I think we need her back to tell us to give us give us a topic. Uh, something that something we could talk about. Okay. Uh, Sure, Should let's we? get her back, I guess. And now it's time for Keeping It Real with Shana. Here we, here we go. My name is Shana. I'm Keeping It Real on the 10 Minute Podcast with Brian Crystal Will. Shit. I think y'all should talk about uh, wow, wow, how, how y'all would kill a bitch if you caught that bitch fucking your man. What? Get well, out of here. Yeah, that's that's I, what's up. I know, but I don't I don't have a man. Yeah, what do you yeah, we're, we're all woman. heterosexual men, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, but this this is what I'm saying. You are this is, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it let me just keep it real, sure. then I'm out. Then I'm out. I'm only gonna take up a little bit of your time. Okay. Okay? Just a little bit of time. I think you should talk about what how y'all would kill a bitch if you caught the bitch fucking your man. I'm out. This concludes keeping it real with Shana. Hey, my name is Shana and I kept this shit real, so what love mother? That okay. She yeah. wants us to talk about. That was more about fucking. That was like murder. our thing about her, though. Like, yeah, well, we, we don't. Have she's sex a woman with and we're men, right. so she doesn't but I understand. Think, I think but the point is saying, how would you murder somebody? You know, I guess if I, you had to. But, I mean, if you were gonna murder, I mean, if you, I mean, we've, we've never fucked a guy. I, but this is what I don't like about what she's doing. She's steering us into this whole guy fucking right. thing, well, but, which is which is totally fine if you're if you're homosexual. If you we, we happen to be we happen to be heterosexual. It's just not for us. That's not really keeping it real. If you did what. No, I'm saying you, some people go through a phase in college right. or whatever. Sure. You're wrestling around with your buddy. Somebody's cock flies out of a speedo. Whatever happens, and then all of a sudden, you know, something. One thing leads to another, and people can go through sexual phases, but it doesn't make them. You can't label them. Anything. So you're saying you if, can la- if, you can't label them anything but gay. Yeah, gay works. Gay would be a good label. Yes, it and you, would be in that moment, but then you get out yeah, of that it. Would you be, grow out of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, things change, tastes change. People yeah. uh, learn things about themselves. Evolve. But, that's all. but I think to say that you are not gay after you have sex uh, with a man yeah. is actually homophobic. Because I can say, uh, like, right now, let's just keep it real. Like Sean says, I've never had sex with a guy. Will? Yeah. I've never had sex with a guy. Right. Brian? Right. And there you go. So, so then that's, Brian? that's where the gray area is, right? Brian? That's where that's where everything gets Well, But what uh, are you talking convoluted. about, though? Because In you, the sense that what is sex? How do you define it? What do you mean by a guy? You know, guy, all that like stuff. Like a guy. So. That's what I mean. Like in, he's got balls, yeah. and testicles, and a penis. Right. And, but if it's not, have you have you had sex with a man in an emergency? Are you saying, or just in a regular? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, you did you go through a phase? I mean, I, my I, my phase in college was I slept during the day and yeah. woke up. At I just did. Night I just did. I did my share of poppers, and then what happens is you get so you're get so, so lightheaded, kind of rowdy. And then somebody's somebody's got a sharp profile. They're aggressive. They're yeah. they're they're intelligent. They're attractive. And then next thing you know, you're 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 in a situation. That's let's where, let's. Um, I I gotta say, uh, first of all, two things. First of all, you're gay. Second of all, right. I, think that, I think that I think that Shauna can I'm help us out with, maybe right. with a Another with a better topic. With a better right. topic. Sure. There's not much show no left, problem. but I guess Let's no see. problem. And now it's time for keeping it real with Shauna. Here we go. My name is Shauna. I'm keeping it real on the ten minute podcast with Brian Chris Will. Shit, y'all ever fuck someone from the Wu Tang Clan and go? This concludes keeping it real with Shauna. Hey, my name is Shauna, and I kept this shit real. So what love, motherfucker? Of course, I. That's what are you just it, now about? she's Why going you... from talking about having sex with men to more specific. It's also so specific, even for women. Like I how know. many women? It you know has... what's funny about this? I worked with uh, Reza on Californication, and I was at a Halloween party, and a guy who looked exactly like Raekwon 
uh, Chef Raekwon, uh that was his costume or no 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 he's I called the chef, the chef the chef Raekwon. Yeah. Uh, what, whatever I don't listen what to what do you mean them. costume was, was Rizza was Rizza there at the party no he I worked with him on uh, Californication but this guy Raekwon so this, you know Raekwon uh, I think I, the guy who was in this Halloween party it may have been a costume and I, next thing on, I'm being grabbed by the throat and oh I'm in goodness. some strange room and, wait hold on and uh, I'm like what the fuck is that that thing belongs on a mule and then uh, and then and then he's like I know people you say shit to anybody I fucking know Brian, are what? you hold on? Are I you know. hold on one second? Oh, Everybody, hold on like, one gross. second. One second. What? Are you saying that you had sex with the Wu Tang Clan member Raekwon? <laughs> I've not had sex with him. I you, but what are you talking about? Been held by the throat against a wall by someone who said that that was their name, <laughs> um, and, and it was a, it was during Halloween, and then He's, I was not wearing pants. Who cares if it was Halloween? What was your Halloween costume? What was your Halloween costume? I was dressed as a as a gimp. With, I was wearing a pair. Of, when was, did you start to dress as the gimp? Before you went into the party, or? Yeah, they gave me. They gave okay. me. It was when I was. You had bombers, sex with Ray Kwan from the Wu-Tang Clan. So I guess. And they gave you the gimp. They wanted you to be the gimp. Yeah, and then, you know, oh look, the butt parts cut out and all that stupid stuff. You know <laughs> all I mean? that stupid stuff. So I I Raekwon, the chef Ray Kwan fucked you. I don't at know. A, at a uh, Halloween I party. Was hot. I don't have any idea. Well, come on, you guys. Don't be Ugh. immature. You're being fucking immature. I'm trying to open up. I had a ball in my mouth. I remember that. And I remember I was wearing... Uh, there were, or a, No, I had a bit, like a mm. horse bit in my mouth. Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast oh, and man. for subscribing on what? iTunes. We're on you Stitcher Smart Radio. I your, didn't, uh, I didn't have app. sex with anybody. But you and, gotta uh, just be real. Keep it real. Check, like, it out. check us out on Twitter at 10 Pod. Brian... <sighs> you gotta be more... Re- you gotta hey, come well, the, to terms The good news is Shauna really kept it real with that because Brian did it. Hey Chris, have you ever been in direct sunlight? Like ever, like where the what sun? Is that, what is that supposed to no, be? No, because like fucking, you, your your skin I'm is is alabaster. Pale. No, you know it's not. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to Ten Minute Podcast. I'd like to talk about how Brian always just insists on talking over the fucking song. Well, you but know, you know what? We've heard the, the, song. O- the audience won't hear it because yeah. I'll cut it out later. Yeah, off. Good and that's idea. and that's obvious. That's very obvious. Okay. That's very very don't, obvious. I don't need you guys because both, okay? I, I do Gang that because I do that all the time. Yeah. Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, Brian Chris, likes- Chris the long haired Casper D'Elia. <laughs> You know, okay. the guy doesn't you, like you to go fucking, outside. No, yeah. it's okay. Look. You, you Chris, are amazing. Chris no. likes to stay inside. He likes to. I know. I know my buddy Chris. And yeah. He likes to play video games. Yeah, you, I actually don't eat, play yeah, video you games. Do. Eat, eat dough. He, eat yeah, dough. He buys, eat sugar he buys dough. enough Wonder Bread to last him through the winter. Yeah, no, that's... And he buys pounds and pounds of turkey. Okay. Well, you and know, mayonnaise. I don't know about that. I mean, I liked when you said I know my buddy Chris, but then after that, it's just pretty much you're just dead wrong. But uh, I know you like you like white foods. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'd say that, but the thing is, is that you know, you just you say I'm 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 white, and but you know what? Hundreds of years ago, what they would do is they would fucking keep it. They would it, they would pay money to stay white because uh, the the workers would be out in the sun getting a tan, and that would mean you're, you're lower class. Yeah, so and they also smell, they also smelled they also that's smelled history. like shit, and they also died. No, at, no uh, they had before Brian before Brian's age. They well, died that's around. true. Guys, I mean, not many people reach up 30s. there anyway. Still, but guys, uh, don't don't start with the age thing. That really pisses me off because I look way younger than I. Am and I play younger, so I. But do you the jokes on you yeah, guys? Mm-hmm. Um, I, well, here's what we should do. I think that that as a podcast and as three friends, we should go for a hike sometime. No, uh, well, that would sound fun, but let me check one second. Yep, I got a dick. So no, that's uh, not going to work. I don't have a vagina. Hike? So no, yeah, I guess d- I won't. Dude, hike. hiking is not girly. Oh, it's okay? not really. Okay, no. hey, let's go to Runyon Canyon and count how many girls we see, and then count how many guys we see, and then uh, there are a lot that, of girls. Y- that, you do the math. There then, are a lot of girls that hike. Yeah, dude. yeah, taking girls on hiking. That's what I'm saying. On saying. hiking uh, uh, dates, but that's really? yeah, that's maybe them it was yeah. just hanging out. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's why you want to go hiking though, because there's chicks there. Nah, I get all my chicks from uh, Target. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Target? Yeah, they're not commodities, dude. It's not like you're buying them. No, I know, but they're in all the aisles. You know, because you got uh, you got aisles, you got fucking the aisle for video games, you got the yeah. aisle for fucking... See? No. I knew you okay, played see, video no, games. I, that was just how I my knew, mind. You know what else you get at Target? You can get white bread. I know you that. You get white bread and salami and chips. Salami. Can you Jelly not... salami and white bread. I'm Chris D'Elia from Whitney. 
I'm from Whitney, Please and don't I'm say a it like vampire. That. Hi, I'm the long-haired Casper the Ghost. No, he My wouldn't say it like Chris, that. He wouldn't say it like that. Chris He'd, Casper he would go, Leah. He would go like this. Do you guys have any Wonder Bread? Mwah. <laughs> okay, and I'm mad. And congratulations, I'm mad. So here's the thing. You fucking, you reach, I reach a tipping point, and you push me over, and now I'm fucking pissed off. What are you going to do? So hey, we'll, congratulations. We'll beat the shit out nah, of you. Nah, you can't. Yeah. You, you know what? You maybe could before I started doing uh, jujitsu, but I You're started doing jujitsu. You're doing jujitsu? Yeah. You're I've not doing jujitsu. I've done it. I'm a fucking blue belt in standing Randori Japanese. Japanese jiu-jitsu. What is okay, it? I'm very good Standing at sticky Randori hands, ja- and I can. I know how to work a neck. You know, I know. I know, I know a thing or two. A I know a thing or two about martial arts, and I'll say this, Chris. Who's you- Marshall? See, he doesn't even know. If you were to approach me with what is it? Standing, standing what? Randori. Yeah. Okay, Randori. Thank you very much. So if you came at me, if you came at me, if you came at me, you have a blue belt, and you came at me, and you took a run at me here, and and I fucking drill you in the side of the. Fucking head with a left and right. put you okay, and well. up against the closest wall, even if it's ten feet away. So how is your how is your uh, chosen what discipline going to help you? And by the way, then? what are you going to do when yeah. I fucking come and shoot a double leg at the same time, take you out in the knees, and now you're on the ground and I climb you like a fucking log oh. and I choke you out well, and then you I'll shit you your pants? Do. No, I because don't. You first of all, all that's control. not part of the move. I don't well, shit my pants. when Will is okay. kicking you as hard as he can and you're floating. Uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, my, no, he doesn't. My and, fighting style is no. I would make I would say it's akin to a Kodiak bear flying on coffee okay like just if a kodiak bear drank four gallons of coffee no and then fucking and then someone just jagged him i in do the, a rising in the fucking asshole where in the asshole with a hot no poker. because what i would do is that's I'd, my fight well, that sounds no. like usually a bear would no. freak out it sounds like you're a complete spaz and you'd probably yeah. just no i would do fucking uh, a block i do a rising block and i would do a snap kick to your fucking to your thigh <laughs> I would do it enough times okay? to where you fucking. Uh, uh, are you okay? Yeah, no. You I, keep writhing around in your chair. I know, I know. I'm all right though. I just gotta. Uh, what are you doing, dude? What's wrong? Oh, is is, Nothing, is my just... shit getting to you? The way I'm doing no, it? No, I'm getting down. Shit... Your, I'm getting. I'm getting down your shirt, aren't I? No, you're not. Okay. You're, you don't do that. Your wit is not good enough to I'm get down. down your sh- What's I'm up? getting down your shirt. I'm getting down somebody's shirt. Why are you moving around in your chair so much? You I need just, a new chair. No, I have a. Get a stomach ache. Dude, I've been something going around. I've been traveling a lot, and I I just gotta. I've been sitting on planes, and I. Having trouble sitting right now. I got some. Why? I got issues downstairs. I got some stuff. <laughs> what? You have issues downstairs? I have some downstairs issues. What are you that talking I don't about? Really feel at liberty to talk about right now. Well, why now. would you even mention we're on a podcast right now? <sighs> I know I've got fucking. What? Know. Please. Okay. Look, Brian. Let's. Chris, let's cut uh, the shit. What do you want to do? Show let's you? cut the Give shit. Me a break. I got some. Actually, I got yeah, some that's stuff a good going I... on. I'm, Actually, yeah, my... that's a good idea. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. I got some shit going on in my genitals. Oh, Which, you yeah. do? Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, I don't know what it is, and it's fucking weird and bothering me. Yeah, I'll say it. will bother me, too. My dick is fucking fire engine red. <laughs> Wait. It, it's not funny. Okay. Don't laugh. If I'm going to tell you, don't laugh, because it's fire engine red. Does it hurt? <laughs> you got no idea. Okay, when you piss? or just we, It's everything. It's when I piss. I can't even pick. Are you serious? What, what, what were you doing in Jacksonville, Florida? <laughs> I well, nothing that I remember. I got a little drunk and I and I was at this thing I got invited to in a hotel suite and Okay, well. Yeah, uh-oh. I know. And what and, um, I don't know what happened, man. A lot of it's a blur, but I know Jeez. there was a guy who was pretty big and he sh- it smelled like coconut. And he had a shaved chest and he was fucking orange. You know, really tan. And then there was another guy, and then there were girls, and oh, the whole thing was geez. a fucking clusterfuck. Somebody put a mask on me. I don't know what the fuck. So happened. wait, Brian. Okay. Brian, were you involved in an orgy in Jacksonville? Oh come on, Florida? man. I'm not going to answer these questions. Did you wrap dude. it up? I don't. Did I what? Look, did you wear protection? Because well, you obviously like you're you really in pain, dude. I mean, you're wincing. All right. You know what? Let's 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 see it. I can't show. Let's it. just see it. We're don't all friends fucking, here. Don't make fun of me and don't be an asshole. Hold on, Brian. Okay. This isn't a visual podcast, so why don't you just fucking show? All right, well, don't be a dick about and it. And we'll be the judge. I'll right, show you, but it's a little. It's not. It's not. Fuck! I have trouble just getting it out. It's swollen. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Ah! Ooh. oh Ooh. Yeah, I know, but look in the inside. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. Ah! It, oh man, it look, looks like a busted sausage. Look at like, my teeth. Ah! Like, the, look at the, you see the, like, the little teeth things in there? Oh, I mean, they're not white. teeth, but they no, look like they're poking out. Pustules. Yeah, you could stick, you could stick, your, oh. you could stick your whole index finger We gotta in do there. something about that. Well, what do you I do? You gotta fix that. You, I don't you know, know. You know, you don't have, you don't have, I mean, don't, don't go to the doctor, that's embarrassing. I'm not gonna go to the doctor, I figured it'll Wait, just does it hurt, up. does it hurt when I grab your, well, hold on, come uh, here. What does are you it, doing? Does it hurt when I do okay, this? be careful, my hold, balls hold are really tender, dude, my balls are... Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Does it hurt when I do that? Ah, yes, a little bit. Let me just, let me grab. Okay. This is your right testicle. Yeah. Ah, Ooh, and here's the fuck? Fuck? this is your left one. Ah! 
God, ooh, God, dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. dude. Oh, the that left one hurts more. That huh? hurt. Yeah, you can tell. Uh, stuff's coming out. What, what? Why is that? Is it? Why is oh. It? Oh, oh man, it's pus. Oh, it's barfing. It's barfing yellow. <laughs> what the ah. fuck was that? Ugh. What that noise just came out of just, your dick hole? I know that's air. I think it's air. Here, I'll squeeze it. <laughs> ah. Ew. It's been oh, making geez. that noise since I got this issue. It's been making that noise. Oh, that was kind of just a hiss. Ah. Ah. Chris, get. Oh, he's oh, farting. Did you just Sorry. fart or what? Yes, yeah, don't laugh. That? Hold on. Stop laughing, dude. Ah, no, that don't. That kind of hurts. All right. That kind of hurts. Oh, no, no, don't do that. We yeah, have to clean I it. Guess. Let's what, clean it. What do you mean clean it? How would I clean it? Let's get I trust a pipe you, but cleaner. First of all, pipe cleaner. First of Seriously, all, you have to go brush inside? Brush it off. First of all, brush it off. Okay, brush off brush. that extra okay, flaky shit. Be careful. Shit. Ah! 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 God damn it! Ah! Ah! Dude, don't okay, laugh, like, dude. Oh god, it's, pipe, uh, it's now it's even it's hurting. Hold on, hold on. You're gonna put the pipe. What, are you gonna put it in there? Yeah, yeah. Let me peel it open. Ew, how did you? Uh, okay, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. You okay? You just what? Oh, look at it. What's that? Oh. Well, that's, that's it. Uh, you've done this. Uh, 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 uh. All right. More brush. Does that feel brush better? the shit out of the top. <laughs> brush the shit out of the top. The dick. Yeah. Give me something to bite on. Hold on. Give me something to bite on. Put this back in, Chris. Hold them down. Put something okay, in my mouth. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. I think it's better, guys. And for uh, subscribing on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. That's, uh, get the app for Stitcher Smart Radio. And we're on uh, Twitter at 10-Minute Pod. Tell your friends if you like the show. It feels better. Uh, uh, stop squeezing his ball. Uh, I think it's better. I think it's going to okay. get better. Hold on. I feel comfortable. Is it... That, that, uh, that brush is really not helping, though, actually. I think it is. I gotta get some of it off. Uh, it's flaking off. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, I'm gonna take the pipe cleaner out. Are you sure? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Uh, Don't fart. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you're shitting. Uh, oh. Do you have to eat now? Yeah, I do, because I'm hungry. Why do you have to eat now? You know why? I got what? an answer. Because I... Don't give a fuck about you guys. Okay. Some podcasts are so six, six dishes. And you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcasts. Okay, everybody else hey, me. welcome to the 10 Minute Pod. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me? Welcome to yeah. the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. Yeah, I'm Brian the Kid Callen. Dude. My name is Chris D'Elia. Okay, be, be louder with your food. That's so obnoxious. Okay, can I explain? we we got to do life. It's got to be like life. It can't, we can't just stop to do a podcast. we okay, got to catch you... it in our natural habitat. Okay, so oh, Br- Chris was an hour late oh, to record. An hour and a half, dude. An hour and a half late. Don't have to air out my business, but okay. And now he's uh, he ordered food. You're and eating he's... meatballs? You got, you're casually eating a meatballs, <laughs> pasta, and a whole chicken dinner. You can eat all it's that? It's not. It's eggplant parmesan. And it's a and it's also I have meatballs yes and then I have chicken piccata. Oh. Well, that, now even what? though I don't, don't want to hear don't. you eat, can you come God. up on the mic a little bit? Cause sure, we... sure. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that, don't make that noise when you eat meatballs. Don't do that shit. No, no, no it's all good. Dude. Oh, let me open this. <laughs> Is this gonna be the podcast? Because I wanted to talk about know. other shit. Let's talk about some stuff. What do you want to talk about? Well, okay. Why were you late? Why were you an hour and a half late? Oh, I had a meeting, dude. Okay, so let me get yeah. this straight. But first, was first you have a meeting. You couldn't call us and tell you. Was up. <laughs> Is he gonna? That's disgusting. You got eggplant coming out of your face. No, no, and no. Don't... Stop <laughs> doing you don't that. To, you don't have to vocalize. You can just yeah. chew. Stop it, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Are I'm you gonna on. be part of the podcast right now or not? Yes, I'm here, dude. I am here. Daddy is here. No, I was, don't say oh, daddy. daddy. No, I know. <laughs> it's like a joke. I was uh, so I was uh, I was having a meeting, dude. There's a high profile uh, picture, and I was uh, I'm in the mix for it, guys. Okay. Oh, All right. Look, gonna it, be coming out. Gonna be I coming out. Okay, punch him in the face. You you could have you could have just. You, uh, you can't punch me in the face. Too you fast. Uh, my, my hands are. You could have just called hands. us. You could have just said like, "Hey, let's do it a little bit later. I'm mm. running into a meeting. This is gonna be late. I'm gonna and be then, late." And then what would Greg Kinnear have done? Just fucking sat there? Oh, so Greg? No, Kinnear Greg was Kinnear was in, not was in the there? meeting. He was at the meeting. Uh, no, well, let's just say he wasn't at the meeting. <laughs> Gay guys? Uh, that's not a that's not an you know impressive name about. anyway. Uh-huh. I don't care if what Greg Kinnear was there. What else? What did you no, order? No, you got meatballs. You got eggplant parmesan. Is that chicken piccata? This is chicken piccata. You, so you basically lunch. You're having lunch three times having a, no, at I'm the same time. A little nosh. 
Well, this is not a little nosh. You've ordered three entrees. <laughs> so, but yeah. So anyway, he's like, I hate you. So anyway, you, he's you like, can eat anything, no, no, and you no, don't no, get no, fat. No, okay, oh, well, 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 eating three well, lunches. Well, 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 I work out twice a day. I know, well, hold on, hold on. And I'm, I'm, I am a mess endomorphic mesomorphic. Hold on, hold on. Dude, it's not his fault. It's his metabolism. Stop teasing him. Don't do that. You're teasing him. You're teasing him. Stop it. Let me eat softly. Don't do that to him, man. Okay, it's fucking obnoxious. It's hard he's, on, he's, for on me to think. he's on a diet. He's on a diet. And look. make and you're, comedy we're in a when you're eating. Listen, wait, 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 listen, man. Everybody okay, should look, know you've we're developed. You've, you've, we're, go ahead. we're in a tiny room, and and it's a very small room because we'll move the whole fucking headquarters down to his basement. I can barely move, and Chris has three dishes open, and you can smell all the food. And Will has a food addiction. He's a mess. <laughs> Here's the thing. Why are you crying? Here's Stop crying. Well, I have a food Stop addiction. crying. First of all, well, Stop crying on his food. You can have one. Vice. Then kind of like that. I like flavor. Is that okay, so wrong? Stop yes, it. But Will, listen. I, can you listen, put the food it's away? Helped, it's helped you in your career. You got to play curly. You got to be bigger to play no. curly. You, 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 pretty soon you'll be able to play Samoan guys. <laughs> okay. All right, hey. all right. That's your being and, a uh, hey, No, no, no. You can play. You can play. Can I, have a, can I have a piece of broccoli? No, you cannot have a piece no, of broccoli. No, fuck you. You're, you're bad. Your piece of broccoli. You're bad. Stick Stick piece of broccoli. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. Stay down. Stay there. Give me a piece of broccoli. Stay there. Just give me a piece of broccoli. Stay. Sit down. This is what just no, this is why you can't lose Get weight. Ah. Tits. Will, that's mine. It. That's mine. He don't put the food away, otherwise we're not going to do Who wants a piece of broccoli? Because he'll keep eating. Ew, ew. It starts with broccoli, and then he's going to freak oh, out. Oh no! Ew, Stop ew. doing that. Stop doing that. Mm. Nah, but he becomes At crazy. Least he's hey, Will. Quiet now. He's Will, 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 come back <laughs> to me. Will, Will, come back to me. Will, Will, look at me. Look at me. No, relax. It's okay. You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat. But you have to wait another hour, right? Remember, that's the deal. I gotta eat. Between. I gotta eat all this food before he gets it. Dude, please, 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 to put the food away. Otherwise, he's gonna flip Pretty out. Pretty soon, you'll He'll be able to play. Uh, what, what's that Japanese uh, wrestling? <laughs> Don't sumo say, wrestling? don't say oh, yeah. sumo. All right. Um, you're being obnoxious, Chris, and you're. I really gained. Teasing I him. actually did gain weight to play curly. Really? That's mm-hmm. good. I gained I gained four pounds. That can, oh, oh, four? Well, that doesn't wow, that's so pounds. Robert De Niro of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's so hey, Christian dude, Bale you, of Daniel you. Daniel Day-Lewis, Christian Bale, yeah. and Will Sasso. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you guys Chris- are all playing real people, too. Wow. Yeah, hey, yeah. what's that supposed to mean? Real, oh, I'm playing no. real. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Curly's a real person. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's a real person. Uh, welcome to fucking hey next stop, Cartoonville. Yeah. Hey, hey what, everybody. Okay, now don't please don't disparage the good name of the, of the, uh, yeah, of the yeah. studio. Yeah. I heard you're gonna play Elmer Fudd pretty soon. Okay, too. that's that's I'm not actually, even on the same. That's you're gonna piss people off talking like that. Listen, man. Um, Will, congrats <laughs> on um, on the Three Stooges. It's hey, thanks. A, it's a hit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. And um, <laughs> really good though. Seriously. Uh, yeah. Last weekend, man. Yeah. Fucking bow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> bow, bow, real bow, well, bow. Dude. Here's the thing. And I saw it. This this podcast is only ten minutes. And I saw it. And so I'm, I'm so, sure that uh, I'm sure we went to the premiere. We did go to the premiere to support our friend Will. Yeah, and there were more pictures of me on the red carpet than Brian. Oh God, Chris. You <laughs> it know, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter though. Well, you then guys, why are you bringing it up? Know, Who gives know, a shit? Know, you know. Okay. Here's another thing I hate about you, Chris. What's that? Okay. You oh, you, you don't eat fast enough. This, I eat very fast. No, you don't. This podcast is okay. 10 minutes long. You're going to eat over, like, we could record five of these. You'd okay. be eating the whole time. And no, I don't know. Stop. Brian, doing can that. I have a piece of bread? No, no fucking please, way. No, please, no. You definitely can't have bread, dude. Mm-hmm. I haven't been way. I haven't been eating bread. I'm no going to, I'm you. going to, um, I'm actually going to gain or lose 100 pounds, I decided. What are you playing next? Why? You're going to gain or lose? Yeah, and grow a beard. Mm. Why? And, um, Wear glasses. Why? Oh, you're just to be oh, different. you're playing a like molester? Uh, no, 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 no. We're no. playing a child molester. No, no, no. That's no, no, not no. a good look. Mm-hmm. I think I've, well, there's like younger dudes all have like these beards, like these like uh, sort of like chick kryptonite, and they wear they have these beards mm. so they can look cool. But why don't you get girls breast, don't like them? Why don't you get breast implants? Um, well, I don't want breast implants. Why you look good with big tits? Mm-hmm. No, I wouldn't. I have a nice chest. You could play like a big girl. Get some on your. I don't want to play on your back too. Yeah, tits get on tits my back. Uh-huh. Four tits. Yeah, get tits on your back and get tits. This on is your obnoxious. Back. You guys are both chewing and gnawing away. So here's the deal, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? No, I don't. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't. You're being hostile. Hey guys. Why are you so hostile? How much would you pay? Seriously, how much would you pay to have my hair? Um, three hundred dollars. No, that's not that. All right, I'd pay a lot to have your hair. How much? 
I don't know, dude. I Be mean, serious. You, how much would you pay? Because you're fucking. You know, it's not. It's not a. Par- I, I, it's not I'll a party tell you on, why. It's not. It's not bad, but it's not a party on top. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell, it's I'll not tell bad you, though. Let me tell off. you why I would only pay three hundred dollars for your hair because it would be an experiment and I'd probably shave it off because if I had your hair I'd look like ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> my career, so, my <laughs> career would be if it's if you can believe it might even be bigger than it already is. So, if you had Chris's hair, yeah, Brian, goddamn, if you had I would Chris's love, hair. Are you kidding me? I would pay. You look Brian like with my hair. Yeah, no. You, if, if we colored it, if we colored it blonde, you'd be Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. Shut Lines. up, dude. I, I'd you give would. a fucking pinky for your hair. Yeah, because you also stuff your dick and balls between your legs hey. and dance around to '80s hey. hits. That's true. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Hey guy. No, I don't. Hey guys, look, look at this. I got this picture of you that I took when I was over uh, at your house where, last where week. Where did you get that? picture of him yeah i know but i was i was over at your drunk. house and you what, didn't know i was taking the picture fucking... i was using your, your restroom upstairs near your near okay your i was joking around in my mirror yeah but you have something in your bum, question, in your though. bum and you're playing with yourself okay but i'm joking around that's what i could that's because i was joking well, around let me ask you a question guys how come they always give you vegetables as sides to these fucking dishes and vegetables suck dick so bad no well, well the, first of all point. you're eating them so stop saying they're not i'm good. only eating them because you have to you don't have to. There's no rule that says you have to. Hey, give me a meatball. No. Hey, man. No. Be, be cool, dude. Don't give him a fucking meatball. Will, you're not going to get any food. Um, <laughs> no, right? I'm, I'm not hungry. And I'm why never, do you keep I'm staring? Never hungry. Well, because it's it's just... You I'm literally, not, you're looking at those meatballs like they're a really fast car. I kind of stopped eating red meat. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Hey... Hey, this is a great podcast. Yeah, this is a really good one. We got, got one. a lot done. Hey, I don't, I don't, hey, happy new year 2014 because I'm banking this episode until then. Hey, I don't give a shit, dude. Hey, maybe I should like have like on Saturdays I should put out the ones we don't like. <laughs> That's a good call. I'm not even joking. That's actually a good call. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast and for subscribing right, and listening. That's actually a good call. That's actually a good call. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> on iTunes. We're on Stitcher Smart Radio. Get the app. And check us out on Twitter at... And by the way, t- go to my website and laugh your ass off. Brian, laughs all day. That's pink, pinkteens.com, right, man? Hey, hey man. Go to... Uh, yeah, hey, yeah. man, don't say that. We're on Twitter at Tim and Pod. And if, yeah, you, enjoy, no shit, and if you enjoy the show, tell your friends. <laughs> and uh, then they can listen. <laughs> <laughs>